so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at O2B Kids in Orlando, Florida. This place is really fun. They have games, they have dance classes, and I want to learn some new dance moves. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Trudy. Welcome to O2B Kids, the new learning playground. Oh, thank you so much. So I want to learn some new dance moves today. Mr. Christian is available for a dance lesson right now. Really? Where is it? You can head to the theater. Oh, let's go to the theater. <laughs> this is it, the theater. Oh, let's go inside. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Mr. Christian. I'm the dance teacher here. Wow, a dance teacher? Could you give me a dance lesson? Sure, but first, what moves do you want to learn? Oh, I want to learn a hip hop move, a break dance move, and a ballet move. Awesome, awesome. But first, before we do that, we have to go warm up and stretch, okay? Oh yeah, makes sense. Where do we do that? Follow me. Oh, okay. Follow Mr. Christian. Oh, I'm so excited to get started. Me too. All right, first we're going to warm up. Oh, it's so important to warm up your body before you dance, get your muscles loose and warmed up so you don't get hurt. Absolutely. All right, so first we're going to run in place and count to eight. Oh yeah, you count to eight in dance because you can easily break up the sections in music when you're learning dance moves. And you don't have to count too high. Absolutely. All right, ready? Okay. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Stop. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> I'm awesome. already warming up. Awesome. All right, so next thing, we're going to do our pizza stretch, okay? I love pizza. Me too. Okay? Okay. So we got to go into our straddle. We're going to sit on the ground. We're going to go into our straddle. We're going to okay. spread our legs out. All right, you can sit on the ground too. All right. And we're going to roll our dough out. So we're roll our dough. And we're going to pat, 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 all around. Pat, 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 pat. There you go. And then we're going to pour our sauce all around. Ooh. And then we're going to spread our sauce, spread our sauce. Awesome, awesome. And then we're going to sprinkle our cheese. Ooh. Sprinkle our and cheese. if you're dairy free, you can use dairy free cheese. Cheese with no dairy. There you go. And then we're going to put our toppings. So I'm going to put chicken on mine because I okay, love chicken. Okay, I'm going to put some mushrooms and ooh, green pepper. Ooh, I'm going to put some pineapples on ooh, there. Mm -hmm. That sounds yummy. Yeah. All right. And then we're going to put our other mittens on. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Protect Just, ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take the pizza. We're going to put it in the oven. So we're going to open the oven door. We're going to put the pizza in there. We're going to close the door. And then we're going to count to eight. Okay. Ready? We're going to go one, two, two three, four, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. Ding, 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 ding. It's ready. Fast cooking pizza. Yeah. So we're going to take it out, open the door. Take out the pizza. All right, ready? And three, two, one. No, 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 Awesome, awesome. All right, and we're gonna put our feet together. Okay. And that's our final warm up. We're gonna put our feet together. All right, and we're gonna say hi, toes. Hi, toes. Goodbye, toes. Goodbye, toes. Hi, toes. Hi, toes. Goodbye, toes. Goodbye, toes. Hi, toes. Hi, toes. I quickly grab them before they go away. Wait. We're gonna count to eight. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Yay! Wow. I feel really good now and warmed up. Awesome. I'm well, ready to dance. You ready? Let's mm -hmm. go. Okay, come on, let's go learn some dance moves. Whoa, we are in a real dance studio. This is awesome. I can't believe you are gonna teach me hip hop moves, break dance moves, and ballet moves. You know a lot about dance. What do you love most about it? There's just so many things about dance I love, but a few things that I love are that I can use one side of my mind, which is the logic side, and the other side of my mind, which is the creative side, and put them together through my movements. Also that 
it's a form of self-expression. Oh, yeah. So you can really express yourself through the movements. And also it's a sense of community. It's really about love and sharing that with everyone. Oh, that's so cool. I also like to express myself through music and dance. It's such a fun way to just be yourself and let loose and have fun. Yeah. <laughs> and you especially do that in hip hop, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, what are the hip hop moves we're gonna learn? Okay, so our first move is our step touch, step touch. Okay. And when we do that, we're gonna count to eight, okay? Oh you yeah, ready? count to eight, I remember. All right, so first, we gotta step out with our right foot. Okay. One, and step together, two. Mm -hmm. And you step out with your left, one. Step together, two. Oh, and then repeat step, that. Yep. Touch. I did. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> step touch. Okay. So we're gonna do that a little faster. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Good job. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> awesome. All right. So next, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay. But we're gonna add arms to make it look really cool. Whoa. You ready? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two three, four, four, five, six, six seven, eight. Good job. Wow, that did look yeah. cool. <laughs> awesome. All right, so after that, we're gonna do our top rock. And oh. our top rock is a really cool move because it's the basic move for break dancing. Okay, so we are learning a basic move of break dance. So yeah. awesome. <laughs> okay, so first, you're gonna take your right arm. Okay. So right hand over and then your left hand under, Ooh. okay? Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna step out with your right foot, then your okay. heels gonna point up to the sky, and then our arms are gonna go out like you're about to give a big hug. Oh yeah, big yeah. hug! Okay, and then we're gonna repeat it to the other side. We're gonna step out with the right, we're gonna, put, we're gonna switch our hands over, left over, right under, and then we're gonna kick out with our left foot, and our toes point up at the sky again, and we're gonna make a big hug one more time. Ah, Ooh, big hug. There you go. Good job. Nice. You think we can do a little faster? Yeah, let's try All it. Right. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, oh, that's good so job. Fun. Thank yeah. you. All right, and our next move to make it a little more flavor and Ooh, put our food on it, yes. we're going to do a crisscross. Criss you ready? Crisscross? What's that? Okay. So it's pretty, pretty simple. Okay. So your feet are kind of shoulder width apart. Okay. And think of it like a scissor. Okay. okay. You're like you're chopping paper. Okay. You go. So you're gonna go cross with your right over your left. I know it's a little confusing, but we'll go through very slow. Okay. okay. We're gonna go right foot. Shoo. Shoo. And we're gonna cross. Shoo. Oh, it is like yeah. scissors. Like and you're cutting yeah. paper. Exactly. Shoo. And then we're gonna switch it to switch feet. So you're gonna go left or right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, eight. And switch. Yeah, there you go. Do a little faster. Okay. All right, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Two, 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 two. Yes, good job. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. All right, after that, we're gonna move into our ballet. Oh yeah, I really love that. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna do is we're gonna put our feet together. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna put our heels turned out. Okay. You see your toes or heels are kissing each other and going okay. mwah. Awesome. And we're gonna put our arms into our beach ball like this. Okay. Ooh, mm -hmm. All right. And we're gonna count. We're gonna count to eight one more time. So we're gonna go one, two, two three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. Good job. Okay. okay. And that is called our plie. Oh, and that means to bend in French. There you go. So we're gonna do it just a little bit faster. Is that okay? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight. eight. Good job. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. And then to add a little more spice flavor to Love our it. ballet, uh -huh. we're gonna do some tendus, okay? Oh, and tendu means to stretch in French. There you go. So we're gonna do our tendus to the side. We're gonna start on our right side. We're gonna do it four times. And we're gonna go one with our right toe out. Uh -huh. And we're just gonna bring in. Boop, boop. One more time. Out. Boop. Bring in. Boop. Out. Boop. Out. Bring in. Boop. In. Out. Out. 
in. In. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. And now we're gonna go to the other side, okay? Okay. So your hands are still on your hips like this. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna go out with your left foot, out. And then bring it, and go out. Out. And bring it, in. And go out. Bring it, out. Bring it. Oh, Good job. Thank you. Wow. Can we do a little faster? Yeah, let's try right. it. Ready? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! Good job! Thank you for teaching me all of those moves. Of course, of course. Are you ready to put it all together? I think so. All right. It's gonna be a little faster. It might be a little challenging, but I think we can do it. I think so too. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, we're gonna start with the step touch. You ready? Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Top row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plie. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Time to two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, three four, five, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. After that, can we freestyle and express ourselves however we want? Absolutely. That's the point of dance. Absolutely. Oh, awesome. I think I'm ready to do a performance. <gasps> I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay. All right. Let's do let's it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. You lead the way. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Introducing the wonderful, talented, and unique Mika. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello. My name is Mika. Yeah. It's nice to meet ya. Hey. I'm quite a thinker. That's me. And I like to tinker. Come on. My name is Mika. Yeah. It's nice to meet ya. Hey. I'm quite a thinker. That's me. And I like to tinker. Come on. Well, you know. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Oh, thank you for teaching me all of those new dance moves. Of course, it's my pleasure. Oh, you're a great teacher. Oh, thanks. Well, I'll see you later. All right, thanks, Mr. Christian. You're see welcome. ya. Bye. Come on. Wow, we had so much fun today and really learned a lot. We learned about warming up our bodies and staying loose when we learn new dance moves. And speaking of dance moves, we learned new Hip hop moves, break dance moves, and ballet moves. And we did a great job counting to eight. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <sighs> awesome. M E E K A H. Mika. All right, we'll see you next time. Keep dancing. <laughs> This fire truck is so fast! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're here at the Caton Children's Museum in Santa Monica, California. And I am so excited because we get to learn about all kinds of things. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun! Come on! Ring. There are so many fun things to explore. Let's go! Whoa, look at it. You know what it is? It looks like a garden <laughs> that's really fun to play in. Let's go inside. Look, there are so many different blocks and colors. Yeah, we have a blue cube <laughs> and hmm, a red rectangle. Ooh. <laughs> and we have a green cube. Whoa! <laughs> and they're so squishy and soft. Whoa! 
<laughs> They're so fun to play with. Woo! <laughs> it's a tunnel. I'm gonna go through the tunnel. See you on the other side. Ooh, ooh. That was a really small tunnel. <laughs> hey, do you know what kind of animal this is? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. This animal likes to go moo. <laughs> yeah, this, oh, this is a cow. Hello, <laughs> it's so cute. Whoa, look at what it is. Do you know what that is? <laughs> yeah, it's a giant rescue helicopter. <laughs> I think you and I should go inside and check it out. Come on. It's so cool! Whoa! And this is the cockpit! <laughs> yeah! Inside this helicopter, there are all different controls of the helicopter. We have different levers and gears that tell you how fast you're going and if you have enough fuel. Whoa! <laughs> and there's all types of switches on the ceiling. <laughs> Whoa, I wonder what this button does. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, and look, there are also a lot of really colorful lights that tell you what's going on. Yeah, we have a really bright white light and a green light and a red light. <laughs> well, it's time to take off. Okay. That was so much fun riding in this helicopter. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Whoa, it's a giant fire truck. <laughs> Uh-oh, but it looks like it's missing part of its wheel. Hello, wheel. <laughs> Maybe we can find the other side. <laughs> oh, and there are so many cool levers. Yeah. Vehicles are amazing. Helicopters are kind of like fire trucks because they have different gauges, buttons that help control it and move really fast. <laughs> hey, I love the horn on a fire truck. Let's go inside and see if it works. I'm driving the fire truck. Make sure you buckle up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, that horn was really loud. <laughs> Let's see what else there is. Whoa, look at this. It's a rescue boat. This rescue boat is on some really rocky waves. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> it's so much fun. And it's squishy. Whoa, the waves are going so fast and they're so huge. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> the water is nice and cool, yeah. Because it's made out of a ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> this is so amazing. I really am having so much fun playing with you today. Hey, and look at this. It looks kind of like a really big picture frame. Yeah, it's a big square. Hmm. And it has some pulleys and a steering wheel. When I move this steering wheel, Whoa, it moves up and it makes bubbles. <laughs> Let's see, we can make the biggest bubble with this giant bubble blower. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> we did it. That 
was an amazing bubble, but it popped because that's what bubbles do. They get really big and then pop. <laughs> they pop. <laughs> this is so cool. It looks like mountains and oceans and there's a little shark. Ooh. <laughs> This shark is having a really fun time going through the ocean. It's so fast! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it did a big jump! Whoa! Whoa! And look at this! This is really cool! It's a submarine! <laughs> yeah! And it has its propeller that helps it move really fast underwater and it looks like it has a scuba diver driving it. <laughs> Whoa, I think it's gonna swim with the shark too. <laughs> Look at this. See, when I press this big button, something really amazing and really wet is going to happen. Are you ready? Keep your eye over here and your eye over here. Here we go. I'm gonna press the button on the count of three. One, two, <laughs> Did you see it? Whoa! Now let's press them really fast. Uh-oh, looks like they don't like to be pressed really fast. There are so many cool things to explore with water. There's so many boats. Whoa, look at all of the boats. <laughs> There's so many. Yeah, we have one, two green boats, and we have one, two purple boats, and we have, well, we have one, two, three orange boats. <laughs> These are so cool. And if you have an orange boat and a blue boat, you have blippy boats. Woo! <laughs> This is so cool. There's all these different water wheels and water. <laughs> Whoa. And looks like we can take this little island and move it all around. <laughs> bye bye, octopus. Hey, do you know what kind of animal this is? <laughs> yeah, this right here is a sea turtle. And it's so cute. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, look, I think I can get on the inside. Hello. Whoa, there's water all around me. <laughs> Woo. This is a really silly crab. There are so many animals. Whoa, but I think there's a really cool wall that we should go explore. <laughs> Let's go see what it is. This is a magnetic wall. Yeah, it's a giant wall that's magnetic, which means squares like this that have little magnets will stick to the wall. So if you take the square and you put it on the wall, no hands, whoa! <laughs> and sometimes the magnets are so strong, you can throw it and it stays by itself. Whoa! And you can make all kinds of cool shapes and pictures. Hmm. So let's see if we can make a picture. Move some of these out of the way. Start with a really big orange square. And we'll put it right there. And next, let's grab two more orange squares. What color should I use next? Hmm, we already used orange, so let's use blue. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go with one, two blue triangles. And let's grab two blue squares. And hmm, we're almost done, but 
I think we should make two. Mm, let's use an orange and we'll use a blue one too. <laughs> yeah, it's a Blippi magnetic castle. King Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, and do you know what this is? Yeah, look at it. This right here, yeah, it's a gear. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. Yeah, and when you take a gear and you put one gear next to another gear, when you turn this one, the other gear will turn too. And now the really fun part. When you take one gear connected to another gear, you have two gears moving. But if you connect those two gears to the, all the gears, then they all move together. <laughs> Teamwork is really fun, especially if you're a gear. Whoa. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's use a lot of teamwork with the gears. <laughs> Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> They're all moving together, but I'm only touching this one right here. See, they're moving and helping each other out. Whoa, super fast. <laughs> this is so much fun. This place is amazing. And look above us. It looks like there's a tunnel in the ceiling. <laughs> I have had so much fun, but I think you and I should go up into the tunnel. Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> Really tricky moving through these nets. <laughs> hey, I think it looks like there's a window over by the water area. Hey, look, it's a window. <laughs> Hello. And it looks like the water area is a giant spinner. <laughs> Whoa, that's so silly. Huh, yeah, it's so cool because when we were down there, it just looked like some islands and some oceans and some water. But because we have a different perspective, yeah, a different perspective. That means a different way of seeing it or a different way of looking at it. Yeah, we see with our different perspective that it actually is a giant spinner. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool. It's so wobbly. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> so silly. Wow, we crossed over the yellow bridge. And now we're all the way on the other side. Okay. This is so cool. It's a giant purple triangle. <laughs> yeah, because look, the triangle has three sides. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, look over here. Hello, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Oh, hi there, Blippi. Uh, my name is the amazing Andres. Ooh, nice to meet you, Andres. <laughs> Whoa, are you juggling? Oh yeah, I am juggling all right. Andres is really good at juggling. <laughs> <laughs> You're too kind, Flippy. You know, it's actually not that hard to juggle three balls. It just takes a lot of practice. Ooh, you know, practice. <laughs> great things start off with one ball, okay. like so. See, catching it good. And then, when I'm ready, I'll go two. Huh. And Whoa. then, when I feel really good, I'll throw in a third ball. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> well, Andres, that is so cool. But what else do you do here? Oh, I do all kinds of fun stuff. I get to spend most of my time coming up with really cool ways for people to have fun here at this museum. <laughs> well, that's really good because <laughs> we want to have lots of fun too. Hmm. <laughs> well, is there anything fun that we could do? You know, I got something perfect for you. 
<laughs> you like to make art? Yeah, I love making art. Hey, maybe we could make an art project. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Got just the thing. Come over here, we'll go to the art crawl room. Okay. You're gonna wanna step in here first. Thank you, Andres. All right. All right, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, look at where I am. We're inside of an art studio. Whoa, this place is so cool. And look at all the things that are here. We have all kinds of different paint where we can paint really beautiful pictures and make really cool artwork. Hmm. We have some pink paint and a lot of colors actually. Some black paint, ooh. <laughs> and we have some green, ooh. And it's got some confetti in it, whoa. <laughs> and it looks like we have a lot of other colors. Hmm. We have, whoa, this paint is gold and it's really shiny. <laughs> Maybe we can think of something really beautiful to paint with this gold paint. Hmm. But first, we need something to use as a paintbrush. Hmm. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> I have a brush and some paint. And now we just need to think about what should we paint? Well, you can start with something really easy. Maybe make a gold smiley face. <laughs> One eye, two eyes, and a really big smile. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> He's so happy. Since we can paint all over this room, let's see how much we can cover and paint. Okay, I'm gonna paint all over the room. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun. Okay, think I'm gonna need two rollers and a lot of paint. Let's go! <laughs> okay, now let's do it with some pink paint, okay? Painting is so fun, <laughs> especially when you can paint all over the place <laughs> and get a little messy. But just make sure when you're painting, it's paper you're painting on and not the actual walls. <laughs> yeah, I like to paint on the paper, but not on the actual wall. <laughs> this was so much fun painting with you. That was so much fun playing with you here at the Caton Children's Museum in Santa Monica, California. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. It's me, Blippi, and I'm with my best friend, Mika. Hi, everyone. We're at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California. Yeah. And it's actually nighttime, and this place is closed. Yeah, but we got special permission to be here at night. <laughs> yeah. That gives me a great idea. Right. Let's have Night at the Aquarium. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Hi, Blippi, Mika. Have fun. See ya. Whoa! 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 What is that? Check it out! It looks like a spider crab. Yeah, it looks like a giant red spider, but it's a crab. Yeah! And check it out, Mika. Looks like it has some claws. Yeah, pictures. <laughs> it also looks like it's looking right at you, Blippi. Whoa! <laughs> Hello! Hi! Hey, my name is Blippi. Hi, What's your Mika. name? <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe it doesn't have a name. <laughs>
Have you ever seen a crab walk on the ocean floor? Yeah, they walk sideways. Yeah. Will you act like crabs with us? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Woo, woo. <laughs> woo, I like being a crab. Ooh, me too. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Check it out. Do you know what they are? Those are sea stars. Yeah. And look, they're the shape of a star. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> Shall we count how many points it has? Yeah, let's do it. One, two, two three, three, four, five. Three. Wow. Looks like they're just stuck to the rock like yeah. this. They seem to really like it. They're all hugging this rock. I like acting like a sea star. <laughs> <laughs> Just like it, Lizzie. <laughs> That's silly. Well, shall we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, look at this big tank. Wow, you're right. <gasps> so much water in here. Whoa. Whoa, check it out, Mika. Fish. Wow. They're all swimming together. Yeah. Here they go. These are yellow tails. Yeah. Hello. You look really close. You see that their tails are yellow. Yeah. Whoa, there's so many of them. Well, I think they like us. They yeah. keep coming over. <laughs> Do you know what a big group of fish is called? Yeah, a, a school. school. Cool. <laughs> Hello. <Whoa>. Whoa. <gasps> Mika, look it? way over here. Come on. Do you see what it is? Oh. oh my goodness. A really cute sea otter. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Wow. Sea otters are so cool. Whoa. Wow. They're in the water. Hey. They can swim in the water and be on land. Yeah. And their fur is really, really dense. Yeah. Oh, look. They're snuggly. Oh, they're so cute. Hey. I wonder if they're best friends. Like us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Their hair is so dense. Actually, it's fur. Yeah. yeah. There's about a million pieces of hair in about that big of size. That's super duper furry. Yeah. <laughs> That's equal to about all the hair on an average sized dog. Wow, that's a lot of fur. Yeah, whoa. They like to dive down and find their food, things like shellfish, crab. Clams, yeah. sea urchins. Yep, and they'll bring it up out of the water onto a rock and hang out and eat their food. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> and did you see how their front hands kind of look like hands, but their back feet yeah, they're actually kind of flippers. Yeah. <laughs> so then they swim with their back flipper feet. Yep. <laughs> it's like flippers in the back and paws in the front. Yeah. Check them out. Wow. Well, there it goes. Wow. <gasps> Check it out. They're so tiny. Yeah, teeny tiny jellyfish. Yeah. Wow. Look at them go. They're just swimming like this. Whoop. before. I know, they're so small. <laughs> oh, and look over here, Mika. Whoa. Oh, these are a little bit bigger. Yeah, we can call these medium-sized <laughs> jellyfish. That's right. Wow, oh, look at their long tentacles. Whoa. Oh, hello. Hi. How's your day going? <laughs> Whoa, Mika, look. Wow. Big jellyfish. Yeah. Wow! Look at that! Yeah! Jellyfish are so cool. They don't have hearts, they don't have brains, but they need to eat food to survive. Yeah! They're living creatures. That's right! Wow! That is so cool. And if you ever see a jellyfish, you want to make sure not to touch it because they sting. Yeah! Wow! Oh, hello. <laughs> and do you see the brown tentacles? Looks like hair. Yeah, that hair tentacle looking type of things, that's what actually stings you if you touch it. Good thing this is glass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, see you later, jellyfish. Wow, pretty. <laughs> so we saw 
small jellyfish, mm -hmm. medium-sized jellyfish, and big jellyfish. Yeah! <laughs> oh, look over here! Oh, come on! Whoa! Wow! Whoa, look at that! Hey! Hello! I'm Blippi! I'm Mika! <laughs> <laughs> and this is a puffin! Wow! Oh. Hi, buddy! Look at him just floating on top of the water! Yeah! Oh. See you later! <laughs> Puffins are super cool because they can dive down into the water and catch a lot of fish. Yeah! Ten fish is pretty normal for them to catch in one dive! Yeah! yeah. And do you see those rocks up there? Yeah! That's where they live! Yep, see? All the way up top, they're just hanging out together on the rocks. <laughs> yeah, if there's a cliff next to water, might find some puffins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, puffin! Hey! Whoa! Their beaks look so cool. Yeah! Whoa! Check it out! So colorful in there. Yeah, it's a coral reef. Yeah! <laughs> Do you see all those fish? They're so colorful. Yeah, there's a Oh, look at that one right there. It's just yellow. Yeah. So yellow, it looks like the sun. Yeah, it's so bright. <laughs> Woo. Oh, Flippy, I bet you'd like that one over there because it's orange, one of your favorite colors. Oh yeah, you're right. And there's white stripes on it and black. That one looks really cool. <laughs> yeah. Woo. And that one right there, yeah, it has a blue body and a yellow tail. Oh. Whoa! Ooh. Do you see any other colorful ones, Mika? Hmm. Oh, I see a black and white one coming this way. Oh, yeah, black and white stripes. Yeah, almost like a zebra. <laughs> yeah, that is so cool. Ah. Ooh, and look at that one right there. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, a blue body mm -hmm. with some black and a yellow tail. Wow. wow. There's so many colors in here. Yeah. So colorful! <laughs> Look at this! These are some of the teeniest, tiniest frogs I have ever seen. These are poisonous dart frogs and can typically be found in the rainforest. Do you know what color that is? Yeah, it's like a red orange. Poisonous dart frogs come in so many different sorts of colors, and their bright colors tell animals and people to stay away because they're really poisonous, but they're so cute. <laughs> oh, I think there's some more over here. Come on. Wow. These have white stripes down their back. They look so cool. They're poisonous because of the poison in the food that they eat. <laughs> you have to stay away. But wow, they're just really adorable and fabulous. <laughs> Mika, look! <laughs> Check it out! More frogs! Whoa! These are magnificent tree frogs. Whoa! It's the color green. Yeah! That's called camouflage. It blends in with its environment. Yeah, do you know what is green in here? Yeah, leaves! Whoa! So then other animals can't see those frogs! So cool! <laughs> Ooh, and look down here! These are Mexican salamanders. Yeah, also known as oxalotls. What a silly name! Whoa! Hello! Yeah! They're typically darkish, greenish, brownish in the nature? Yeah. So then they blend in to their environment, just like those frogs. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Whoa, wow. check it out. Yeah, it's an octopus. Can you see it? Yeah. Whoa. Octopuses have eight arms. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> we, together, have four. One, two, three, Four! Whoa! Times that by two, and then you have eight. Yeah, can you imagine having eight arms? Whoa, that'd be so cool! 
Yeah, and octopuses have little suction cups on their arms so that they can taste wherever they go. Yeah, and it sticks to things. Whoa! <laughs> and octopuses can actually change color and texture. That's called camouflage. Yeah, and they're also really, really smart. <laughs> yeah, and did you know octopuses, their mouths are actually beaks. <laughs> Oh, looks really white now. Wow. Kind of hard to see back there. Yeah, it's oh, changing it's colors. Oh, hello, octopus. Hi. Whoa, take a closer look. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Bunch of sharks! Wow! But I actually heard that we can get in! What? Yeah! That's so cool! Shall we? Yeah! Okay! Whoa! You need to be very careful! Do not step on any of these sharks! Excuse us! Excuse us! Woo. Ooh, it's a little cold and chilly! Whoa! Wow! Yeah, these are shark jaws. Yeah. And look at all the teeth. There's so many teeth. Whoa, hello. For sharks. Yeah. Whoa. Are they sharp? Whoa, yeah, they are. Look at this really big one. Whoa, Mika, cool. Wow. <laughs> wow. And this shark jaw. Yeah, the teeth are really small. This jaw is actually the same type of sharks in here. Yeah. So cute. We're <laughs> smaller than something like this. Yeah. Ooh, and look at this. Bet you can't guess what shark this comes from, Mika. Ah. Uh, it's one tooth. And it comes from a shark that's really big. It's a really great shark. Oh, the great white shark, Flippy? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look how big that tooth Ooh. is. No! <laughs> chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> so silly. Wow. Yeah. So, Mika, we can actually touch these sharks. Whoa. Yeah. I wonder what they feel like. I know. I'm so excited. Oh. Hello, shark. Hello. Hello. Come here. Are you ready to get pet? Ooh. These are a little shy. Oh, here's oh. one. Here one comes. Come on over. Oh. Yeah, I did. What did it you feel like? It actually felt a little rough. Yeah, the skin of these sharks feel like sandpaper. Oh, it's so rough. Oh, oh, here's one. Oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, here's one for you, Mika. Here you go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's rough. Not yeah. smooth at all. No. <laughs> hey, come check out over here. What's over here? Yeah. Whoa. Get out nice and safe. Hey. Then. Go right over here. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Whoa. A rays. Bunch of rays. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, look at them. Whoa. Hey, Ray, how are you? Hi. Whoa. <laughs> Shall we get in? Yes, I can't wait. Yeah. Here we go. Hey. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Whoa. So in here, you want to shuffle your feet, so then you don't step on any of the rays. Yeah, good idea. Ooh. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Look right over there, Mika. Is this food for the rays? It is. What? Special surprise. It's a <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, and is there another one? Yep, this is oh. for you. Oh, thank you so much. And this is for me. All right. So how we feed them is we just toss it out. Look at this. Ooh, <laughs> some fish in here. Anybody hungry? Looks like some shrimp. Ooh, check it out. Wow. Want some food? Looks pretty yummy if you were a ray, huh? <laughs> Whoa, that here is they are. Perfect. Yum. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, nice time snack. Yeah, here you go, Ray. Actually, we can touch them too. Really? 
Yeah. What does it feel like? Oh, you kill me? Yeah. Wow. We're gonna do two fingers along their back. Okay. Nice and soft. Oh, there's one behind us. Oh, hey, Ray. Whoop. Oh, here's one. Hello. Hi. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Kind of feels like. Let's see here. Oh. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> oh, here you go. Time to <laughs> Yep, I felt that one. Yeah, different than sharks that were really rough. Yeah, these are really smooth and I slippery. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. <laughs> They kind of look like uh, diamonds. Yeah. yeah. And they fluff their wings. <laughs> oh, he's trying to eat my foot. Oh. There you go. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, what a great night at the aquarium. <laughs> yeah, we saw so many cool animals. Yeah, like those adorable sea otters. <laughs> Jellyfish? <laughs> and the octopus? Whoa, with eight arms! Yeah. Wow, and those crabs? <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, so many <laughs> underwater creatures. Yeah, well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B L I. P-P-I, Flippy, good job. Wait a second, Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll show ya. N-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Mika. <laughs> so cool, see you later. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a great night, Flippy and Mika. Thank you, you see ya. Too. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy! And today, we're here at the Kennedy Space Center. <laughs> yeah! And I am so excited because we get to learn all about astronauts, planets, and maybe <laughs> we can go into outer space. Whoa! <laughs> today is going to be out of this world. <laughs> And what better place to be than the Kennedy Space Center? <laughs> yeah, this is where scientists study planets, outer space, asteroids, <laughs> and they even build rockets that blast off. <laughs> well, I am so excited that you and I get to learn about space and learn about what it takes to become an astronaut. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Come on. <laughs> We're here at the rocket garden. <laughs> These are real rockets. <laughs> They're so big. <laughs> Let's go take a closer look. Come on. Whoa, check it out. It's the Delta II rocket. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big. <laughs> Whoa, do you see it? Yeah, the Delta II rocket is 128 feet tall. Whoa, <laughs> that's a really big rocket. Do you notice anything about it? Hmm. Yeah, do you see all the way at the top? It's a shark. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Hello, sharky. <laughs> Whoa, the Delta II rocket is an amazing rocket. It was used for missions to Mars. <laughs> yeah, rovers that would go on Mars, yeah. A rover is a little vehicle that would drive around on Mars and help scientists learn about the planet. <laughs> and the Delta II would help those rovers get to Mars. <laughs> Whoa! To get all the way to Mars, it means you need a really powerful engine. I think I see the engine now. <laughs> Let's go take a closer look. Come on. engine of the Delta II. Do you see it? Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> yeah, 
this cone in the center is the engine. And one, two, three cones on the sides. Yeah, those are the boosters. <laughs> it would help give the rocket an extra boost to Mars. <laughs> Whoa. And these engines are so powerful. Yeah, they're really powerful. We call that power that helps a rocket take off thrust. Thrust. <laughs> and the Delta II has over one million pounds of thrust. Whoa, <laughs> that is one amazing rocket. Whoa, check it out. It's the Atlas Agena rocket. Whoa, <laughs> it's so big. And it's the color Silver, <laughs> it's so shiny. <laughs> well, the Atlas Agena rocket had a very important job. It was a photographer. <laughs> yeah, this rocket's job was to take pictures of the moon. <laughs> and did you know, this rocket also really loved teamwork. Yeah, lots of teamwork. That's because it had two parts, the Atlas and the Agena. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. In order for it to take pictures of the moon, the Atlas, the big part, <laughs> was a powerful engine that would shoot into space. <laughs> and then the Agena, or the teeny tiny part on top, would take over. Yeah, it would shoot a rover on the moon. <laughs> and then the rover, which kind of looks like a little car, would drive all over the moon taking moon pictures. Moon pictures? <laughs> yeah, 11,000 moon pictures, just like this. Or like this one. Or even like this. <laughs> Whoa, those are some pretty good pictures. <laughs> this rocket is amazing. <laughs> Look at where we are, planet play. <laughs> and what better place to play than in the solar system? Whoa, check it out, it's a planet, it's Mercury. <laughs> That's one of the planets in our solar system. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. It's starting to feel a little bit toasty in here. Whew, it's really getting warm. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> Whoa, it's the sun. <laughs> Uh-oh, the floor is lava. Oh, wait a minute, the floor is the sun. Ah! Whoa, I wonder where this goes. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, check it out. Hey, it's another planet. <laughs> and it's a really windy and chilly planet. <laughs> oh, that's because this planet is Saturn. Yeah, Saturn is really windy and chilly. Hmm, but it looks like it's missing something. Huh. Saturn normally has rings. Rings like a hula hoop. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that's because we're standing on the rings. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> So colorful. Oh, and did you know the Earth has one moon, but Saturn has 82 moons? Oh. <laughs> Whoa, look, it looks like we're on Jupiter now. Wow, and this will help power our lander. Yeah, we have our lander, but we need to give it power so we can get back to Earth. Okay, we need to use stomping power. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Whoa, we did it. We restored power to the lander. Now we need to get back to Earth. Come on, I'll see you there. <laughs> Whoa. It looks like we need to visit some more planets first. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Check it out. 
check it out. This place is awesome. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, we made it through the planets. We did it. <laughs> I'll see you at the bottom. Bye-bye! Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! We did it! <laughs> we went through the wormhole. Oh, <laughs> this place is amazing! Hey, and check it out! <laughs> we found the rest of the sun! Oh! <laughs> no wonder it was so warm! The sun is so big! It's so hot and it's so orange! <laughs> Hey, will you pretend to be a sun with me? <laughs> okay, it's pretty easy. First, make yourself really big. <laughs> yeah, and then we need to make the shape of the sun. Ooh, it's a big sphere, so we can make a big circle. <laughs> like this. And then, did you know the sun has solar flares? <laughs> yeah, that means there are explosive rays of fire and light. What? <laughs> Well, we can do solar flares with our arms by wiggling. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that was pretty fun being in the sun. <laughs> yeah, did you know the sun is the center of our solar system? <laughs> yeah, a solar system is where planets all live together. And the sun is at the center of ours. Yeah, all the other planets like Earth circle around the sun. Woo! Woo! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, and when planets circle around the sun, we call that orbiting. Whoa! <laughs> I'm getting dizzy from all this orbiting. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, look at this! Whoa, <laughs> do you see what I see? Yeah, these are satellites. Planets orbit and satellites orbit. Time to do the satellite dance. Woo! <laughs> Keep spinning. Woo! <laughs> I'm pretty dizzy from dancing like a satellite. Yeah, orbiting around and around and around in a circle. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder where this goes. Come on, let's find out. <laughs> Here we go. Hello! Whoa! We climbed all the way up here! <laughs> here we go! Whoa! Whoa! That was awesome! <laughs> I had so much fun here with you at Planet Play! <laughs> Look at where we are! We're standing in front of the Saturn V rocket! Whoa! <laughs> it's so big! <laughs> wow, did you see it? Yeah! At the bottom of the Saturn V rocket, there are five engines! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five! <laughs> Whoa! The Saturn V rocket was enormous! and really, really powerful. <laughs> yeah, they used this rocket on the Apollo missions. Whoa, <laughs> that's a fun word to say. Have you heard of the Apollo missions? <laughs> yeah, the Apollo missions were to help get a person to stand on the moon. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, there were 17 Apollo missions. And on Apollo 11, the 11th mission, they made it to the moon, <laughs> yeah. And Neil Armstrong, in 1969, <laughs> took a step on the moon. Whoa! <laughs> wow, <laughs> that sounds so amazing. Imagine going into space, being an astronaut, and even standing on the moon. Whoa, <laughs> that is so awesome. And 
rockets like the Saturn V are so awesome! <laughs> well, luckily, where we are, there are all the different parts. Let's keep exploring! Come on! <laughs> Whoa! You see this? Yeah! This is another part of the Saturn V rocket. This is the command module. Yeah! Right here at the front of the command module is where the astronauts would sit. <laughs> yeah, they would sit in the front, and this is where they would stay when they were blasting off into space. <laughs> Whoa, look! It's so shiny. Yeah, it's really shiny, and the color, silver. <laughs> That's because it needed to reflect all of the sun's really hot rays. It insulated, well, basically protected the astronauts so they would be nice and safe when they were in space. Whoa, <laughs> it would be so cool to ride in the command module. Whoa, and do you see this? <laughs> Come here. Whoa, look at this. Hmm, I wonder what this is. It kind of looks funny. Hmm, maybe it's four trumpets. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> those aren't trumpets. Oh, those are boosters. Yeah, look. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, and that would help guide and steer the command module. If they needed to go up, one of these would blast off. If they needed to go left, another would blast off. <laughs> so they could drive it around. <laughs> Whoa, the command module is amazing. <laughs> yeah, and look, it has a really big engine. <laughs> it's so big. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, the Saturn V's main rocket had five engines, but the command module only had one engine, but one really big engine. <laughs> yeah, the command module is how the astronauts would get back home. <laughs> Whoa, it would blast off of the main rocket, and then the very front of it would separate, <laughs> just where the astronauts were sitting. Then it would float back down to Earth once it got to the atmosphere. <laughs> it would crash land in the ocean, but because it had a parachute, everyone would be nice and safe. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out, come on. <laughs> Check it out! Do you see what's up here? <laughs> Look, it's a circle and a shield. Whoa, looks like a lot of circles. <laughs> yeah, these are the astronauts' patches. <laughs> Every astronaut that was a part of a crew of an Apollo mission or any space mission would get to design a very special patch. <laughs> and then it would go on their spacesuit. <laughs> Whoa, and they're so cool. Look at this one. This one. It has the command module on it. And look at that one, <laughs> Apollo 11. It has an eagle. Kaka, kaka, kaka. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at it. This is amazing. Did you know that the Saturn V? Yeah, it had lots of different parts. And when it would separate, the next part would take the crew and the astronauts further into space and closer to the moon. <laughs> Whoa! It's so amazing learning all about space and rockets! <laughs> Whoa! And I think I see something at the end! <laughs> yeah! At the very top of the rocket, there were three things. The service module, the command module, <laughs> we just saw that, and oh, the most amazing, the most incredible lunar module. <laughs> yeah, the lunar module is what astronauts would use to get to the moon. And I think I see it right behind me. <laughs> Come on, let's take a closer look. <laughs> It's so amazing! 
And do you see? Look, it's two astronauts wearing spacesuits in front of the lunar module. Oh, <laughs> whoa, those spacesuits sure look amazing. And they also look really heavy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If you were an astronaut, you had to be really strong <laughs> and really smart. Yeah, sometimes astronauts would be scientists or maybe even engineers. And do you see what they're doing? <laughs> it looks like they're cleaning up. Yeah, cleaning up space rocks. <laughs> yeah, they're collecting space rock samples from the moon so they can study them and learn lots. <laughs> Hello, hello, Mr. Spaceman, hello. <laughs> oh, they're pretty busy at work. Whoa, and do you see too? It looks like there are lots of footprints on the moon. Oh, well, the moon, it's not like Earth. When you make a footprint in the sand, it stays there. <laughs> yeah, there's no wind or breeze like at the beach. No, when you make a footprint, it stays there for a really long time. <laughs> and it looks like these two astronauts made lots of footprints. Whoa, <laughs> a lot of them. Whoa, and do you see the lunar module itself? It's amazing. <laughs> hmm, something looks familiar. Yeah, it's all the boosters. You see? <laughs> the boosters on the lunar module, kind of like the command module, were used to steer it around. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, and the lunar module also had a really big engine. Yeah, mm, kind of hard to see, but it's right there in the middle of the lunar module. This would help it descend, <laughs> which means go down, so it could land on the moon, and that engine helped it ascend, which means it made it go up, <laughs> off the moon. <laughs> Whoa! And the lunar module was amazing. It had so many other parts. Yeah, do you see down here? The orange reflective material? <laughs> well, behind the orange is where they kept materials and supplies that they might need or for any experiments. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. Oh, and look right there. Do you see it? <laughs> That's the door that the astronauts would come out of. Yeah, they would climb through the door and down the ladder to the moon. <laughs> oh, this is pretty amazing learning all about the Apollo missions, the Saturn V astronauts. <laughs> I sure wish that one day we can meet a real life astronaut. Hmm, maybe we can ask him questions. Maybe that astronaut had an amazing experiment or maybe they needed to repair something. Oh, I don't know, <laughs> but it sure would be amazing to one day be an astronaut and to blast off into space. These are amazing. Yeah. When an astronaut goes into space, they can't wear their normal clothes. <laughs> they can't wear their orange and blue suspenders and shirt. <laughs> no, they need a spacesuit because there's no air in space. <laughs> it helps them breathe and it keeps them protected. Whoa, <laughs> look at this one. This one looks like it's made out of fabric. Yeah, the color's white and gray. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this spacesuit. <laughs> this one looks really cool. It's made out of metal. It looks like a knight with a suit of armor. <laughs> well, this one looks really cool, but might be kind of hard to walk in that spacesuit. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, <laughs> look at this one. It looks like an accordion. Whoa, <laughs> have you seen someone play an accordion before? Yeah, kind of sounds like this. 
<laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, it looks like this one would be a lot easier to walk in. Huh, whoa, come to think of it, there are a lot of spacesuits. <laughs> yeah, that's because the people, engineers, and scientists making spacesuits, sometimes they would make a suit and go, I think I can make this better. So they would practice and make lots of suits. <laughs> Kind of like if you play a sport or a game and you try the first time, it might be kind of hard. But if you practice, you'll get a lot better. <laughs> Whoa, and look at it. Whoa, it's an actual spacesuit from an Apollo mission. Oh, 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 this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it looks very easy to move around in and walk so they can walk on the moon. <laughs> Definitely sounds like these engineers and scientists got a lot better by practicing. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it would be so cool to get in one of these suits. You see? Yeah, you would strap in here and you have a little bubble helmet <laughs> to keep the air in so you can breathe and different tubes and nozzles so you can move around and also get lots of oxygen to breathe. <laughs> Whoa! This is pretty amazing. <laughs> Whoa, check it out! It's an astronaut! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> That means we must be here at the Astronaut Hall of Fame! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Did you know that some people go to space for their job? What? <laughs> that sounds like a really fun job to me! Yeah, people who go to space are called astronauts! <laughs> wow! And check it out! <laughs> there are so many astronauts in this room! Yeah! They've done really amazing space missions! <laughs> So they're here in the Astronaut Hall of Fame. <laughs> well, I really wish I could meet an astronaut in real life. That would be awesome. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there's a person back there. Maybe they can introduce us to one. Come on. <laughs> hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Oh, hi, I'm Bruce Melnick. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Bruce Melnick. Well, we've had a lot of fun learning about rockets and astronauts. Do you think you could introduce us to an astronaut? That's gonna be real easy. I'm an astronaut. No way! Did you hear that? Bruce Melnick is an astronaut! Oh <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, that's amazing. And are these astronauts too? Yes, they are. These are all the Hall of Fame astronauts. Matter of fact, that one right there was the pilot on my first flight. Wow, that is so amazing! <laughs> I can't believe I am standing next to a real life astronaut. <laughs> well, Bruce, was it amazing going up into space? Oh, it's the greatest ride in the world. <laughs> You're wow. laying there in your back and when the boosters light off, it's just a rough, loud, wild ride. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. Do you, does it go really fast when you take off? Well, when you first take off, it's fairly slow, but you're already going 100 miles an hour when you clear the top of the launch pad. Whoa, 100 miles an hour? Whoa! <laughs> and then eight and a half minutes later, you're going over 17,500 miles an hour. Whoa! I can't imagine going over 17,000 miles in a space shuttle. <laughs> That's so fast. <laughs> it's so fast that it only takes you an hour and a half to go around the Earth. Whoa, did you hear that? Whoa, one hour and a half? And every 45 minutes, you're seeing a sunrise or a sunset. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. It takes me a whole day to see a sunset. <laughs> but if you're in space going really fast, you see one every 45 minutes. Hmm, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> it's really cool. And when, of course, you're on the dark side, you see 10 times more stars than you do when you're on the surface of the Earth because there's no clouds in between you and space. Wow, that's amazing. I love looking at the stars. <laughs> so going to space, you can see even more stars. Wow, <laughs> this is so amazing. Sounds like I want to be an astronaut, and it sounds like you do too, and we can go to space. Uh, but first, Bruce, what is the first thing we need to know about being an astronaut? 
The very first thing is, is do the best you can in school. Okay, <laughs> we can do that. The second thing is to be a very good person. Oh, well that's easy. <laughs> we'll just be a good person. <laughs> and what's very important is to be very adventurous. Whoa, adventurous? I love adventure. <laughs> yeah, if you want to be an astronaut when you grow up, you need to do well in school, be a good person, and be really adventurous. <laughs> well, I think we will definitely go to space someday soon. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Bruce, for teaching us all about space and being an astronaut. <laughs> well, it was my pleasure, and you have a lot more to learn here at the Kennedy Space Center. <laughs> okay, well, let's keep exploring. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. We got to meet and talk to a real-life astronaut. <laughs> that was amazing! Well, I think there's a little more exploring for you and me to do. Come on! <laughs>
<laughs> Check it out! We landed? Hmm. But I wonder where? Hmm, well... There's dust, rocks, and craters. It's really gray. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I also feel much lighter here. Oh, I know! We're here on the moon! <laughs> yeah! And the moon has different gravity from Earth. Yeah, on the moon, it's very floaty and bouncy. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, it's really fun being on the moon. Ooh, and I brought the perfect thing, a flag. <laughs> one small step for Blippi, one giant leap for Blippi kind. <laughs> wow. <Ooh. laughs> well, the moon is Pretty amazing. Yeah, pretty cool here. Oh, did you know that the moon goes around the Earth? <laughs> yeah, and the Earth, the Earth revolves around the sun. Whoa! <laughs> and all the planets that go around the sun are part of our solar system. Yeah, and there are eight planets in the solar system. <laughs> you know the planets in our solar system? Yeah, they are. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune! <laughs> yeah! Eight planets. They are very different from Earth. <laughs> hey! Why don't we explore all the planets, learn how they're all unique and different? <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. But, hmm, I think I have just the thing to help us get to all the planets. Oh, check it out! Oh, the Blippi Space Pack! <laughs> yeah! And it has a rocket booster. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to go and explore all the planets. Blippi Space Pack Rocket Booster, go! Whoa, look at me go! Whoa! Whoa, check it out! It's Earth! Hello! <laughs> Yeah, that's where we live. <laughs> Earth is a pretty amazing planet. Yeah, it has everything we need. Air, water, food, <laughs> and our family and friends. <laughs> well, we'll see you soon, Earth. Yeah, we're gonna keep exploring some more planets. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! We're on another planet. Hmm, this planet is really small, and it's the closest to the sun. It's called Mercury. <laughs> and Mercury is really sunny and really hot. Yeah, because it's so close to the sun, we definitely want to wear sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get a sunburn on Mercury. <laughs> Ooh, good thing I have some right here in my space pack. <laughs> Perfect! Yeah, not gonna get a sunburn now. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Woo! Whoa, look! <laughs> a volleyball! Yeah, this volleyball is so lightweight. Yeah, gravity is different here. So. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, look at that! Whoa! When I let go of the volleyball, it floats away! <laughs> Whoa! Here we go! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> hey, that gives me an idea. If the volleyball weighs less on Mercury, maybe I weigh less too! <laughs> Whoa! 
Did you see that? Yeah, it's so bouncy here. <laughs> but after all that bouncing, <sighs> I'm kind of tired. <laughs> oh, well, good thing I can take a rest right over here. Oh, look, <laughs> it's a beach chair. Ooh. Mm, a tasty drink. Mmm, <laughs> tastes like pineapple. Whoa! <laughs> that is one tasty drink. Oh, well, I already put on my sunscreen. Just need... Whoa, check it out! <laughs> Some flippy shades. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, it's so relaxing here. Oh, but it is pretty hot, so <laughs> good to have a cold drink. I could get used to mercury. <laughs> Whoa! We made it to the next planet! Whoa, and this planet is really, really hot! <sighs> yeah, this planet is Venus! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's the second planet from the sun. And it's not as close to the sun as Mercury, but it's way hotter! Woo! Yeah, this planet, it's really hot! <laughs> I think that's because this planet is covered with lava! <laughs> yeah, have you ever played the game The Floor is Lava? It's a really fun game, but it's just pretend. This planet, the floor is lava! <laughs> I don't want to step in the lava. Lava is really, really hot! Woo! 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 <laughs> yeah, the lava here makes rivers. Well, like a river of water, but it's a river of lava. <laughs> Whoa! Woo! <laughs> Don't want to go swimming there. <laughs> yeah, there are volcanoes all over Venus, and the lava shoots out of the volcano. <laughs> yeah, and when it goes down the side of the volcano, turns into different kinds of rivers. Underneath a volcano, there's something called magma. Yeah, it's really hot and it's kind of a liquidy thing. <laughs> yeah, and then when it explodes out of the volcano, it's called an eruption. Whoa, a volcanic eruption. <laughs> yeah, and then it goes down the side of the volcano and it's lava. Yeah, you don't want to touch that. <laughs> Check it out! Yeah, the gravity is also different on this planet, too. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> that was pretty fun. Ooh. Aww, <laughs> this baby volcano is so cute. Hello. Ooh. Well, I don't think this volcano is going to erupt anytime soon. Yeah, this volcano it's probably dormant. Yeah, that means a volcano will not erupt. <laughs> yeah, it's just being here nice and cute. Yep, you're really cute. <laughs> well, good thing it's not going to erupt, because if a volcano erupts, you don't want to be anywhere near it. Yeah, it can be dangerous. Whoa, look, there's steam. Uh-oh, maybe this volcano will erupt. <laughs> Need to stay a little bit away from it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look at it go! Whoa! Whoa! <sighs> it's erupting! <laughs> Whoa! It's getting really hot in here. I think it's time to move on to the next planet. <laughs> Whoa! Looks like we're on another planet. Hmm. Good thing this planet doesn't have any lava, but it also doesn't have water or forests like Earth. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This is a pretty rocky planet. It's very red. Hmm. There are a lot of craters. Hmm. <laughs> I know what planet we're on. We're here on Mars. Whoa. <laughs> oh, and look at this. Whoa. Hey, look red sand. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh! 
Yeah, this red sand is just like the red sand on Mars. Ooh. Check it out. Oh, do you know what this is? This is a Mars rover. Whoa, these are really awesome. <laughs> yeah, scientists use Mars rovers to collect information so they can study a planet. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, look, it has six wheels. One, two, three, Ooh. four, five, six. Yeah, six wheels. <laughs> and that's really important because Mars has lots of bumps and hills and craters. <laughs> yeah, also a, a satellite. Yeah, so that it can communicate with Earth. Yeah, <laughs> if it collects information or maybe rock samples or maybe even takes a picture, it needs to be sent back to Earth. <laughs> Whoa, hey, you see what's on the back of the rover? Ooh, yeah, blue and black panels. <laughs> Those are solar panels. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, this Mars rover doesn't take batteries. <laughs> no, it's solar powered. That means it gets its power from the sun. <laughs> an idea. Oh, take some of this sand. Take the sand and our Mars rover will make some samples for it to collect. Yeah. And some rocks that it doesn't want to hit. <laughs> Ooh. One rock, two rocks, three rocks, four rocks. Whoa. And oh, maybe Mars hit by a really big asteroid. <laughs> yeah, an asteroid is kind of like a rock, but it's huge <laughs> and it's flying through space. <laughs> Whoa, maybe we can make another one. Whoa, this one's even bigger. <laughs> Look at it go. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and on Mars, the Mars rover Drive around. <laughs> it would find rock samples and then pick them up <laughs> so that scientists can study them and learn what that planet might be like. <laughs> kind of like what we're doing. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. oh, good job, little rover. <laughs> Aw, <he's> so cute. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Aw, you're welcome. Whoa, Mars is a pretty amazing planet. Hmm, and I've been noticing something. Yeah, a lot of these planets are different from Earth in one way. Yeah, they have different gravity. Whoa, on Mars, <laughs> whoa, it's all so bouncy, <laughs> yeah, whoa. Hey, I have an idea. Will you bounce with me like it's Mars? Okay, let's pretend by using our imagination that we're on Mars bouncing around. Here we go. Mars is a pretty cool planet, but there are so many others to learn about. Hmm, let's go find another one. Okay, get ready for the next planet. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, we made it to the next planet. Whoa, this planet is really big. Whoa, it's so big. <laughs> yeah, this planet is Jupiter. Whoa, hey, will you pretend to be Jupiter with me? Okay, first, move your arms out like this and then be really big. <laughs> Whoa, 
Whoa! <laughs> yeah, Jupiter's really big, but you know that Jupiter is not made of metal, or ice, or Earth. No, it's made of gases. Yeah, hydrogen and helium. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's called a gas giant. <laughs> yeah, because it's so big and it's made of gas. Hmm. And because Jupiter is really big, it has a moon. But not just one moon, it has 67 moons! Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot of moons. Yeah! Whoa! 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 Whoa. That certainly is a lot of moons. <laughs> Hey, look, it's a little Jupiter. Hi, little Jupiter. Oh, hi, Blippi. Oh, hi. <laughs> How are you today? Oh, I'm fine, but I'm missing my red spot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> little Jupiter is missing his red spot. That's because Jupiter has a big red spot on it. Hmm, maybe we can find it somewhere. Oh, here it is. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Flippy. <laughs> yeah, see, the red spot right on Jupiter. See you later, little Jupiter. Bye-bye, Flippy. Bye. -bye, <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, on big Jupiter, there's a red spot too. It's huge. <laughs> yeah, it's so big because it's a really big storm. All those winds and gases, whoa. <laughs> makes a really big red spot. It's kind of like a giant hurricane. <laughs> well, this is a pretty amazing planet, but I think it's time to move on to the next one. Okay, let's helicopter to the next one. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> we made it to the next planet. Whoa. This planet is also really, really big. <laughs> it's called Saturn. Yeah, but Saturn is not as big as Jupiter. It's the second biggest planet. <laughs> and it has 82 moons. Whoa, that is a lot of moons. <laughs> yeah, Saturn is also really, really bright. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, if you were to look up at the night sky on Earth, you wouldn't need a telescope to see Saturn. It's so bright. You can see it. It might look kind of like a star. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Let's play a game. Yeah, but this game, we're going to need to use our imagination. <laughs> let's play sink or float. But let's play sink or float with the planet Saturn. Hmm. What do you think? Will Saturn sink or will it float? Whoa. <laughs> no way. Check it out! Saturn floats! <laughs> yeah, Saturn does not weigh a lot at all. It's not very dense. So, if you took Saturn, yeah, the planet, <laughs> and you took a bathtub, just a bathtub, <laughs> and you put Saturn in the bathtub, it would float! But it would certainly need to be a big bathtub. <laughs> Woo. And Saturn has a ring! Yeah. Whoa! Kinda like this hula hoop. <laughs> yeah, it has a ring of ice and rock and asteroids that goes all the way around the planet. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 <laughs> Whoa! Looks like we have some hula hoops here. Maybe we can make a really big four ring asteroid field around me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Asteroid field away! Whoa! <laughs> uh oh. I <laughs> think I need a little more practice. <laughs> Whoa! <Ooh. sighs> Whoa! It is really chilly here. <laughs> yeah, it's really cold. It's so cold, I'm freezing. Ooh. <laughs> That's because we're on the seventh planet from the sun, Uranus. <laughs> hmm. 
so far away from the nice warmth of the sun that it gets really cold here. <laughs> yeah, don't think I would want to live on Uranus, but it's nice to visit. <laughs> hey, can you think of someone that might want to live on Uranus? Hmm, they probably love the cold. <laughs> yeah, a penguin would like to live here. Hmm, will you be a penguin with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> waddle, waddle, waddle. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I like pink penguins. They're so fun! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, yeah, it's really cold here, but did you know that Uranus has seasons? Yeah, but it's a little different from seasons on Earth. Uranus has summer, winter, spring, fall, but instead of lasting only a few months, each season lasts 20 years! Oh, that's a really long time. <laughs> but the seasons aren't that different. It's always still pretty cold. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, so cold that there's snow cones. Ooh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, and look, there's snow cone syrup. Whoa, look, it's the color blue. <laughs> Whoa, not only is blue one of my favorite colors, but Blue is the same color as Uranus. Yeah, because it's so cold, it's blue. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Blueberry. <laughs> this is one tasty snow cone. I almost forgot to say, there's something really unique about Uranus. Yeah, instead of rotating or spinning like a normal planet, it's on its side. <laughs> Maybe because it bumped into another planet. <laughs> Wait a minute! Whoa! My other snow cone! Woo! Hey! <laughs> We're here on the eighth planet from the sun, and it is really chilly here! Ooh, I feel like an ice cube! <laughs> yeah! Also, kind of dark. Oh, that's because Neptune, the planet we're on, is really, really cold. It's made of ice. I think I need to put on some warmer clothes before my teeth freeze. <laughs> Looks like there's some clothes over here. Let's go put them on. A ski jacket, one hat, two hats, three hats, a scarf, another scarf, and some gloves. <laughs> Nice and cozy and warm. <laughs> yeah, Neptune is really cold. But did you know that Neptune, it's not the coldest planet, that's Uranus. But it is the furthest from the sun. Hmm. <laughs> that's kind of like Mercury. Yeah, Mercury is the closest to the sun, but it's not the hottest. That's Venus. Oh, that is interesting. <laughs> hey, and did you know that Neptune is also the color blue? <laughs> yeah the color blue and has some gas on it too. <laughs> well, it's pretty dark and it's pretty cold here. I think it's time we make it back to the moon. I think I need to go back to the Flippy Mobile. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hello, it's me, Flippy. <laughs> Can you name all the planets? Mercury is the littlest planet. It goes around the sun in just 88 days. Venus is so bright and beautiful. Earth is the next one, our home sweet home, with breathable air and water too. Mars is red and we want to explore it all. In our rocket ship, let's blast away.
our solar system. Saturn has a ring of asteroids. Uranus is the chilliest burr. It's made of ice and spins on its side. Neptune is the furthest away of us. today. We did so many amazing things. We got to meet a real life astronaut, saw rockets, <laughs> we learned about all the planets, and we got to explore space. <laughs> hey, where should we explore next? Oh, <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. Here we go. B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Come on everyone, let's make learning fun Blippi, Blippi So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout Blippi So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout Blippi <laughs> Hey, it's me, Blippi And today, we're here at Silicon Beach Pediatric Dental in Culver City, California <laughs> This is the dentist's office, and today I'm going in for my checkup. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Whoa! I'm so excited to get my teeth clean. <laughs> yeah! Here at the dentist, the dentist makes sure your teeth and your gums and your whole mouth stay super healthy and clean. <laughs> well, I brush my teeth and I floss two times a day. But it's good to go to the dentist for a checkup and a cleaning <laughs> to keep your teeth extra clean and extra healthy. <laughs> hi, Blippi. I'm Dr. Ray. Oh, hi. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Are you ready for the tooth party? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. You said tooth party? Tooth party. I love parties. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. I'm ready for the tooth party. Oh, and who's this? This is Danny the dinosaur. Oh, hello, Danny. <laughs> Whoa, and it looks like Danny has some teeth. Hmm. Is Danny gonna get his teeth clean today? We're gonna use Danny to teach you how to brush your teeth. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Hmm. So if you look, Danny has teeth just like you. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. And we have this toothbrush so we can learn how to brush our teeth. Whoa, look, that's a really big toothbrush. <laughs> well, probably because Danny has some really big teeth. <laughs> And when you brush your teeth, you have teeth on the top and teeth on the bottom. You have teeth on the left and teeth on the right. And when you brush, you have to make sure you brush the outside and the inside. So let's do a little brushing with Danny. Okay. I like to count to 10 when I brush teeth. So in the front, we'll count to 10. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Whoa. And are you done? No, because you've got to brush the back ones too. The back teeth are called molars. So Ooh. let's brush our molars. Ooh. So in the back, you got to brush the outside and the inside. You got to brush the top ones 
and the bottom ones. And don't forget about the right side. Whoa, We're going to brush those too. And Dr. Ray, you said the back teeth, those are called molars? Back teeth are called molars. Oh, and what are the front teeth called? The teeth in the front are called incisors. Incisors. Ooh, <laughs> try saying that with me. Incisor. Whoa, <laughs> good job. Wow. So after you've brushed, you still have one more thing to do that's really important, and that's flossing. <laughs> So don't forget to floss because the sugar bugs like to hide in between your teeth. Oh, the sugar bugs. <laughs> you want to make sure you floss those out. <laughs> so when you take your floss, you go in between the teeth very carefully, very gentle, mm -hmm. and you clean all the food from in between your teeth. So oh. don't forget to floss. Oh, and does that help keep your gums healthy? It keeps your gums healthy, it keeps your teeth healthy, and it keeps you from getting any cavities. Whoa, that's great. Yeah. You don't want cavities, so you want to remember to brush and floss. <laughs> oh. And part of going to the dentist today, Blippi, is we're going to count your teeth. So we're going to use Danny, and he's going to show us what I see as the dentist, so you can see too. Ooh. So we're going to count Danny's teeth on the top. Let's do it together. Okay. This is the dentist's mirror, and we're going to count here. Count with me. <laughs> One, two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six Seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. <laughs> yeah, whoa, good job. <laughs> so Danny <Whoa. laughs> has ten teeth on top. Whoa, that's a lot of teeth. <laughs> whoa, that's so cool. And now Danny has a really nice smile. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. Now that I'm sitting down, I'm ready to get my teeth cleaned. <laughs> So Blippi, we're going to brush your teeth, but first I'm going to show you everything we're going to do before we do it. Oh, that's great. Thank you. This is the thirsty straw. This drinks the water. Ooh, But yeah. when you turn it on, it makes a little air noise. So it's not scary. It's oh. just a little air. You want to touch it? Yeah. You hear that? Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then to rinse your teeth, we have the water squirter. This is the water squirter, and Ooh. it squirts a little water. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and then for brushing teeth, we have the Profi motor. This is like an electric toothbrush. And if you Whoa. feel it, it's really soft. Oh, yeah, it's so squishy. And you said this is called a Profi motor? A Profi motor. Whoa, that's so cool. Yeah, just like a toothbrush. <laughs> and when you turn it on, it makes a little motor noise and it tickles your finger. <laughs> so feel it, it's soft. Whoa, <laughs> wow, it's so ticklish. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> so before we start, you get to pick what flavor toothpaste you want. Ooh, we get to pick the flavor. Hmm, but what flavor should we pick? It looks like watermelon, candy, chocolate, hmm, cake or cupcakes, <laughs> grape, and mint. Hmm, I think I'll go with mint. Hmm. <laughs> so now we're going to lean the chair back. It's just like going on a spaceship. And we're gonna Ooh. count your teeth, and then we're gonna brush your teeth. <laughs> Whoa! Feel like I'm getting ready for takeoff. Three, two, one! Teeth brushing takeoff! <laughs> Ooh. So this is my mirror, and we're gonna use it to count your teeth just like we did Danny's. Oh, okay. Do you wanna start on the top or the bottom? Hmm, let's do the bottom teeth. <laughs> let's count the bottom. Open big. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Looks great, Blippi. Whoa, fourteen teeth on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. And now let's count the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. 14 on the top. Great Whoa. job, Blippi. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, that's awesome. 14 on the bottom and 14 on the top. Hmm, that means 28 teeth? 28 teeth. Actually, Blippi, if you include the wisdom teeth, you have 32. That's Whoa. great. <laughs> that's a lot of teeth. <laughs> so this is the electric toothbrush, and now we're going to brush your teeth. Ooh, <laughs> this is going to be fun and really minty. <laughs> And here's your toothpaste. Oh. And we're going to brush your teeth. Oh, check it out. Yeah, the toothpaste comes in a little cup right there. Whoa. So the electric toothbrush scoops up the toothpaste. And then we can brush your teeth. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> Thank you.
Blippi, remember, part of taking care of your teeth and avoiding cavities is eating healthy. So you always want to eat lots of healthy things like fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. Don't eat a lot of sticky things because the sugar bugs like that. And remember, when you're thirsty, always drink lots of water. Great job, Blippi. How do your teeth feel? Whoa, they feel so clean. <laughs> okay, that's it for the cleaning. Your teeth look great. Oh, well, thank you for cleaning my teeth, yeah. And they also feel clean, and they feel great. <laughs> so no cavities today. You have 28 teeth, and they look beautiful. Oh, thanks, yeah. It's good that I don't have cavities, but what is a cavity? A cavity is a hole in your teeth, and that are caused by sugar bugs. Sugar bugs in my teeth? <laughs> we all have little bacteria that live in our mouths, and some of them are called sugar bugs. Ooh. And sugar bugs like to make a hole in your teeth. Oh. So that's why you brush every day. You don't just brush the food off your teeth, but you clean all the sugar bugs too. Whoa, that's really important to brush and floss all the sugar bugs away. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> there are so many colorful toys here. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Dr. Ray, do I get to pick one of these? Lippy, you did a great job today, so you get to pick a toy. Whoa. <laughs> we have balls, ice cream cones, airplanes, and a bunch of other great things. What do you want to get? Hmm, I don't know. Well, look, <laughs> these sure are colorful. Whoa, and look, a really squishy soccer ball. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty fun. Whoa, and look at this. Whoa! Oh, look, it's a toy snake. Whoa! <laughs> look at him go! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, mm, he's pretty cool. Mm. Ooh! I think I'm gonna choose the blue ice cream cone. And I have one more special thing for you, Blippi, so you can take care of your teeth at home. I have a toothbrush and some toothpaste and some floss for you, so you can do it every day. Whoa! No way! My very own toothbrush. Toothpaste and floss. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Oh, and look, also the color blue. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much for cleaning my teeth and for making sure they were nice and healthy. <laughs> thank you, Blippi. You were so brave. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't have any cavities. Woohoo! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. See you in six months, Blippi. Ooh, bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll have to come back in six months for another checkup. Whoa, that was awesome! Nobody wants a toothache So wet your toothbrush and get your toothpaste Put on a dab about the size of a pea Now get your toothbrush ready and follow me! Let's pretend to brush our teeth for two minutes <laughs> Make sure you brush your teeth really well Let's make some circles, 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 circles. Circles on all sides of your teeth. Circles on this side, circles on that. Circles on the top where you chew on snacks. Gotta get rid of all that black. There are germs living in your mouth. Gotta get them out! And that's why we brush our teeth. Come on, brush those teeth. Go on, scrub them clean. Come on, make those pearly white shine. Okay, we're halfway there. Keep pretending to brush. Let's make some more circles, 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 circles. Circles on all sides of your teeth. Brushing makes your breath smell super nice Gotta make your smile as white as rice Oh, I love brushing my teeth Oh, don't forget to brush your gums And don't forget your tongue! Bah! Now we are almost done Let's brush front, back, side to side Front, back, and side to side Everybody, front, back Side to side, front, back, and side to side. Come on, brush those teeth. Go on, scrub them clean. Come on, make those pearly white shine. Come on, brush those teeth. Go on, scrub them clean. Come on, make those pearly white shine. Oh, we to fly.
floss too. <laughs> hey! I had so much fun at the dentist today. <laughs> yeah, we learned so many things about teeth. <laughs> and I even got my teeth cleaned and looked at by the dentist. <laughs> oh, and Dr. Ray, he was so nice and friendly. <laughs> Whoa, and look, I even got some things to take home. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Oh, and one more thing. <laughs> Don't forget to brush and floss every single day. <laughs> see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on everyone, let's make learning fun Blippi, Blippi So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout Blippi! Hello! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And look at where I'm at! Whoa! Today, I'm at Santa Barbara Marina in Santa Barbara, California. And this marina has a lot of boats! Yeah! Do you like boats? Yeah, I do too! They're so cool how they float on the water and they go from one place to the next. And you can see things along the way. Cool. Shall we find a boat that we can explore? Yeah, let's go. Whoa, cool. Look at this boat. Wow, it's the color yellow. Whoa. Can you think of anything that's the color yellow? Oh yeah, like the sun. Or a sunflower, cool. Hey, what about any fruit that's the color yellow? Yeah, a banana, good job. <laughs> oh hey, here's some black letters. This must be the name of this boat. Lil Toot, Lil Toot? Whoa, that's a fun name. Toot, toot. Whoa, cool. Oh, hey, who are you? I'm Captain Fred. Oh, Captain Fred, I'm Blippi. Wait, Captain, are you the captain of this boat? I am the captain. Whoa, that is really cool. What does this boat do? We take people back and forth across the harbor all day long. Wow, so this boat takes people back and forth, back and forth. So it's like a passenger boat, just like how there's passenger buses. But this is a boat. Cool. Do you mind if we hop on board? Welcome aboard. Just watch your head. All right, come on. <laughs> wow. Check out this boat. Wow, it's so big and roomy in here. Yeah, I bet they can fit a lot of passengers on this boat. Whoa, whoa, look at these. Whoa. <laughs> cool. <laughs> little life jacket or a life preserver. Whoa, definitely looks a little small for me. Oh, I can't even get it on, it's so small. Oh, these must be for children. Cool. <laughs> All right, we'll put those back. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Whoa, I wonder what's in here. Whoa, yeah, a lot of life jackets. Whoa, and these are a lot bigger. I bet this would definitely fit me. All right, let's try it on. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> yeah, life jackets help you float when you're going in the water. Yeah, you might have worn one when you go swimming. All right, we'll put that right there. Oh, hey, wait a second. It even says Lil Toot. <laughs> cool. All right, there's that. Okay. Let's see what else this boat has for us. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Doesn't this look like the boat's floor? Yeah, well actually it's something really cool. Let me show you. All right, I have to move these first. Whoa. And this one. All right, now for the special thing. All right, <laughs> do you know what it's gonna be? All right, lift up this hatch. Whoa, 
Check it out! Yeah, this is the engine of the boat. Whoa, this looks like an inline four cylinder, 56 horsepower diesel. No way, whoa, so cool. Ooh, and right here, yeah, that's the oil filter. Yep, definitely the oil filter. Cool, <laughs> all right, we should probably close this so then we can go for a ride. Whoa, see you later, diesel engine. Whoa, all right. <laughs> in here. It's the pilot house which is where you steer the boat. Oh, the pilot house? Whoa, check it out. Speaking of steering the boat, whoa, it looks like the steering wheel. All right, turn it left. Whoa, turn it right. Whoa, cool. What's the left and the right called on a boat? Left side's the port side. Okay. And the starboard side is the right side. Wow, cool. And sometimes I see colors at night on boats on the left and the right the side. The red side is the port side. Okay. And the green side is the starboard side. Whoa, cool. Speaking of red, whoa, what do these knobs do? The red one's the throttle, makes the boat go faster or slower. Okay. The black one makes the boat go forward and backwards. Okay, so this one is the throttle. You push it forward, it goes super fast. But then, if you pull it back, it goes a lot slower. Ooh, and this one, if you push it forward, you go forward. And if you push it back and pull it back, you go in reverse. Whoa, cool. Hey, is this a radio? Whoa, hey. Hello, hello, Marina. This is Deckhand Blippy, and I'm here to help Captain Fred. We're gonna take a ride, and it's gonna be fun. <laughs> cool. All right, put that back. Woo! And this, yeah. Can I pull it? Yes, you can. <laughs> oh yeah! It's the horn or the tutor on this boat. <laughs> cool. What else do you have here? What's this? This tells you how deep the water is, and this is the actual bottom of the water. Oh. And if, when we're out in the water, you'll actually see fish go by here. Okay, so if there's a fish underneath us between the bottom of the ocean and the boat, then you'll see a dot. Yeah, we'll be able to see fish. Cool. All right, this is so much fun. I'm so excited to go for a ride. Is there any safety things we need to know about? Absolutely. Before we leave, we have to talk about safety. Okay, I'm ready. We are Coast Guard certified to carry 19 passengers. Wow, that's a lot. Children's life preservers are underneath the seats in separate containers. Oh yeah. It's and the this. adult life preservers are in the large box in the center. <laughs> Children's life preservers are for people that are under 90 pounds. Okay. And there's also life floats on top of the boat. Oh, cool. Are we ready to take it for a spin? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Whoa, all right, here we go. <laughs> This boat is just floating on the water. And you can tell that we're still in the marina. Yeah, because there's a lot of boats. Whoa, boats? Speaking of boats, that one is so massive. Whoa, hey. Whoa, hey. Whoa, check it out. Well, United States of America. Yeah, boats love to fly their flags of the country that they're from. And this boat, yeah, it resides in the USA. Cool. <laughs> Whoa, do you see all those sailboats? Yeah, you can tell they're sailboats because the big mast in the center goes way high and that's what holds the sails. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Sailboats are really cool because they're powered by the wind. They don't even need an engine or a motor or nothing. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful day it is out here. It 
it's nice and sunny. Good thing we have the top. I might get sunburned. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see those birds? Wow, there's so many of them. Yeah, those are actually California pelicans. Whoa, they're so big. Whoa, hello. Hey, wow, their beaks are so massive. All right, see you later, pelicans. Bye-bye. Whoa, what a fun day this has been. Hasn't it been fun? Yeah, I love boats. <laughs> hey, and if you're wondering why I'm not wearing a life jacket, it's because this is a Coast Guard certified boat. Yeah, and I'm older than the age requirement. <laughs>
You're so amazing. Look at them all. <laughs> Look, you can see he has two paws and two really big feet. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, did you know that polar bear's fur isn't white? Mm -mm. No, it's clear. Yeah, and their skin is black. Whoa, <laughs> who would have thought? They look white. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what they're all looking at. I know, they're probably looking for their favorite food. Melons! <laughs> yeah, these polar bears love food, especially sweet treats and vegetables. <laughs> He's snacking on some lettuce. Do you see their mouths? Come here. Oh, see, they have really powerful jaws. <laughs> and really big teeth. Oh. And did you know that polar bears can smell really well? Yeah, so they can smell for their food. They can even smell through snow. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, it's a cantaloupe. Yeah, a cantaloupe just like you or I would eat. <laughs> but it looks like, whoa, <laughs> he got it. <laughs> Look, he's munching on a cantaloupe. They're so sweet and healthy. <laughs> Cannonball, woo. <laughs> I was being a cantaloupe. <laughs> this bear right here is over 10 feet tall. If it stands on its back legs, that's taller than me. And these animals here, yeah, these three polar bears, they were rescued by the San Diego Zoo so they can live and eat all the cantaloupe and leafy greens that they want. <laughs> these are some amazing creatures. where we are. <laughs> Whoa! Look, it's a polar bear. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Whoa, this polar bear is so big. Yeah, this is the biggest polar bear here, Kaluk. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, Kaluk loves to swim. Polar bears are really good swimmers. Yeah, to get their food or to swim through the Arctic seas. Mm -hmm. And they can hold their breath for a really long time. <laughs> Whoa, look, he's just floating in the water. <laughs> Whoa, hello. <laughs> Ooh, so much yummy lettuce. Well, I'll see you later, Kaluk. <laughs> I think Kaluk wants to go play with the other polar bears. Hey, I have an idea. How about you and I go find some other animals? <laughs> I'm so excited to see what we can learn. <laughs> Whoa, it's an elephant. <laughs> yeah, and this elephant's name is Mary. Mary came to say hello. Come on. Mary is amazing and is an Asian elephant. She's so big. <laughs> oh, and these are my two friends, Craig and Emily. <laughs> They're professional wildlife care specialists. <laughs> yeah, that means they take care of Mary. <laughs> Whoa, you see what they're doing? Look. Oh, they are doing physical therapy with Mary. That's because Mary is a really old Asian elephant. <laughs> really old, 57. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Really good at stretching. So much fun to stretch like an elephant. Because Mary's an Asian elephant, she doesn't have any tusks. 
no tusks, and Mary is really hairy. <laughs> Whoa. And you can see, not only is Mary hairy, but her skin has some dust and dirt in it. Yeah, that keeps Mary cool. Her wrinkly skin, she can put some dirt in. Keeps it nice and cool in the sun. She doesn't like to be really hot and sweaty. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hey, did you notice what's in Emily's mouth? Yeah, look, it's a little silver thing. Did you hear that? <laughs> Let's listen again. It's a whistle, and the whistle tells Mary, good job, <laughs> you're doing so great. And because you're doing so great, I'm gonna give you a treat, a tasty apple. <laughs> Keep listening for the whistle. Did you hear it? <laughs> Mary's doing so good. Whoa, look, Mary's trunk picked up another apple. <laughs> Did you notice something? Yeah, the end of the trunk for an Asian elephant, it doesn't have two fingers, no, or five fingers like us. No, it has one finger and another part that looks just like the palm of your hand. So Mary can pick up food, or grab a tasty apple. <laughs> These elephants are amazing creatures. <laughs> it's so fun to watch. Hey, can you name all the parts of an elephant with me? Okay, hmm, let's think. The trunk, <laughs> the really big ears, Woo! <laughs> four legs, one, two, three, four. <laughs> and look, Mary has a tail. Whoa! <laughs> I love acting like an elephant. They are so amazing. Whoa, <laughs> it's so tall. <laughs> Whoa, now it's time to give Mary some food. <laughs> yeah, Mary loves to eat all kinds of things, but her diet consists of cucumbers. Whoa, cucumber slices and apples. <laughs> yeah, it's also important that we feed Mary some bran and mineral oil. Mm, <laughs> that doesn't sound as tasty, tasty as an apple, but it's really healthy for Mary. <laughs> and we gotta keep Mary healthy. Whoa, and look at this, come here. You see what Emily's doing? Yeah, Emily is giving Mary an extra special treat. <laughs> an extra special treat, raisins. <laughs> yeah, if Mary's done a really good job, or done something really special, we give her raisins. She loves raisins. Oh, it's her favorite treat. <laughs> hmm. Hey, maybe Emily will let me give Mary some raisins. <laughs> Emily, is it okay if I give? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, <laughs> that was so awesome. <laughs> hey, look where we are. Whoa, look, it's a penguin. <laughs> Hello. And this penguin's name is Dot. Yeah, Dot is a South African penguin and is really cute. <laughs> hey. Yeah, look, she has a really long beak. <laughs> and is the colors black and white. Hmm, wait a minute. We're in San Diego. We're not near the snow. It's not very cold out. <laughs> That's because these penguins are temperate penguins, which means they like warmer weather. So it's really comfortable outside right now. <laughs> Whoa, hello, Dot. <laughs> Look, she's so cute. <laughs> hey, did you know penguins are birds too? Yeah, they lay eggs, they have feathers, mm, but they can't fly. Mm -mm, they can't fly. 
but they're really good swimmers. They're really fast swimmers too, and they like to waddle. Hey, will you waddle like a penguin with me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great job waddling like a penguin with me. Well, this was so much fun learning about penguins. <laughs> I bet we can see some other amazing creatures. <laughs> Thanks, Don. Bye-bye, Dot. Whoa, look at where we are. <laughs> We're inside the Galapagos tortoise habitat. <laughs> Whoa. Look at him. Yeah, this is a Galapagos tortoise. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, this tortoise, his name is Aldo. He's a really nice tortoise. He's so slow. Whoa. <laughs> and so old. <laughs> yeah, he's so old. Galapagos tortoises can live into their late hundreds. And Aldo, yeah, he's 95 years old. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> look at what I have. Some lettuce and some tasty kale. <laughs> Better save it for Aldo. Hello, <laughs> you want a snack? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at his mouth. Oh, Aldo has really powerful jaws. Whoa, <laughs> his mouth loves munching green things. Yeah, Galapagos tortoises are vegetarian, <laughs> which means they like leafy greens and vegetables. Whoa, <laughs> but you don't want to get your fingers too close to their mouth. Mm -mm. Do you want another snack, Aldo? <laughs> Oh, here's another bite. Whoa, <laughs> he's so cute. Hey, did you know that tortoises and turtles are different? Yeah, this is a tortoise. Yeah, Aldo's a tortoise, which means he likes to walk around on the land. But tortoises aren't turtles. Mm -mm. Turtles like to be in the water. And some turtles, like sea turtles, swim and live in the water <laughs> and only come out of the water in case they need to lay eggs. <laughs> but tortoises like Aldo, yeah, he only goes in the water if he needs to cool off or take a bath. <laughs> Ooh, let's give him a little more lettuce. Whoa, here's another bite. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, and do you see this shell? This shell is part of Aldo's body. Yeah, it's not a shell that Aldo can crawl out of and find a new one. <laughs> no, that'd be so silly. No, this shell is part of him. Yeah, it grows on his back. And depending on what type of Galapagos tortoise you are, you might have a different looking shell. Yeah, sometimes they're a little more open on the top, so the tortoises can reach up to get really, really high food. <laughs> and sometimes it's a little lower because they eat food on the ground. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, and do you know what Aldo really likes? <laughs> Shell rubs. <laughs> Whoa. And scratches. Whoa. <laughs> He's really happy now. <laughs> Whoa. Do you see how Aldo is standing up? Look, he's standing up straight and he's in a trance. Whoa. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, just like that. In Galapagos tortoises, this is called the finch response. <laughs> yeah, and that's so. Finches, yeah, the birds can come in here and clean the tortoise's skin by straightening up in this trance, gives the birds a lot of space to fly in and give little leg rubs. 
clean their neck. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> he's so cute. Well, tortoises are amazing, but they're endangered. <laughs> that means that they need to be protected. Thankfully, the San Diego Zoo protects them <laughs> and gives them lovely homes like this. <laughs> wow, I had so much fun at the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? OK, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi. It's me, Flippy! And today, we're here at Up Flying Yoga in Los Angeles, California! <laughs> Whoa! And check it out! We're so high up in the sky! <laughs> Look! You can see the mountains and trees, even buildings! <laughs> well, I am so excited because you and I get to have fun doing aerial arts! <laughs> yeah! Aerial means up in the air. <laughs> and we're gonna have lots of fun up in the air together. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> I'm swinging in this hammock. <laughs> yeah, normally you might wanna take a nap in a hammock, but this one is great for swinging in, climbing on, and spinning. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, that's because this is an aerial hammock. Yeah, <laughs> you can do all kinds of things on it. Whoa, <laughs> it sure is fun. <laughs> oh, but if you're doing anything with aerial silks or aerial hammocks, you want to make sure there's a grown-up nearby so you stay nice and safe. <laughs> okay, let's swing. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> Whoa! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, you can swing sitting down or you can swing standing up. Woo! <laughs> Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> Whoa! I'm up so high! Hello! <laughs> Woo! I'm a bird! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, that's pretty silly. <laughs> but I think I want to spin some more. Here we go! Whoa! Check it out! It's an aerial cube! <laughs> Ooh, I bet we can climb up in this! Here we go! Whoa! Look! <laughs> oh, so relaxing in the cube! <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you know what a cube is? A cube is kind of like a square. Yeah, kind of like a square, but it's 3D. Whoa! And every side is the same size. Yeah, all six sides, whoa, are the same. <laughs> Check it out. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is kind of tricky. Woo. Whoa! Yeah, look. If you see it from this angle, it looks like a diamond. But I bet. Now, it kind of looks like a square. Woo. Yeah, a square. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Woo. Okay. <laughs> I should probably get down from here. Okay, here we go. Woo. <laughs> well, that was pretty fun, but I think I need a teacher to help me out a little bit. <laughs> it would probably make it a lot more fun and we could probably do some cool new things. <laughs> hmm, let's go find someone to give us some tips. Whoa, check it out. It's an aerial instructor. <laughs> Whoa, she's really good at this. <laughs> oh, maybe she can teach us. <laughs> let's go ask. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? 
Whoa. Hi, Blippi. <laughs> I'm Kimberly. Oh, it's nice to meet you, nice Kimberly. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, you're really good at aerials. Thank you. Whoa. Ooh, well, we were doing some climbing and some spinning <laughs> and some swinging, but do you think you could help us? Uh, can you dance? Oh, I love to dance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love to dance. Perfect. Let's do some aerial dance then. Aerial dance? Oh, you mean we can dance, but in the air? That's exactly it. <laughs> yeah, I would love to. All okay. right, grab for your hammock. Okay, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at this hammock. It's so big and purple. <laughs> it's like a sail. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> okay, I have the hammock. Grab for one edge. Bring your thumbs inside. Okay. Fingers, all four of them on each hand. On the outside, slide your hands outside of your hips. Okay. Reach for six handfuls. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Bring those elbows in, shoulders in. Ooh, okay. Press your fingertips towards the ground. Jump up inside. Whoa! <laughs> Check it out! Ooh, we made it in the hammock. Hands up high towards the sky, all the way around the outside of the back. Grab it like a rope on each side. You can walk your legs forward so you're sitting on the very edge of this little ledge. Ooh, nice. And then slide your hands down so you've got it on both sides, just like you'd wear a belt. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go upside down. Are you ready? We get to go upside down? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. You're gonna take your legs wide, keep your hands still, and then bring your feet together all the way around the front. Okay, here we go. Upside down, blippy. Woohoo! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! And then take your right foot and your left foot all the way around the outside of the purple fabric Ooh. to the front. Okay. Good job. Whoa, you look good. Yeah. <laughs> thumbs up. Thumbs up. Wait, thumbs down. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> okay. You want to go for a spin? Yeah. Let's do it. Time to spin. <laughs> Don't want to get too dizzy. <laughs> oh, so what should we do next? You want to do a handstand? Yeah. All right. Your fingers come on the floor directly under your shoulders. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at those toes. Flex your feet. Straighten out your legs. Now straighten out your hands. Whoa! Feet towards the sky even more! Handstand! Yeah! Check it out! Whoa, that was fun! You wanna do a no-hand handstand? A no-hand handstand? Sure! All right, straighten out the legs, straighten out the arms. Okay. Hands off! Whoa, check it out! No hands! How stretchy are you? Can you reach to your toes? Reach for those toes! Yeah! Bend your knees. Whew. And lift up. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, we're up so high. But I do have one question. Kimberly, how do we get down? Oh, well, that's even more fun. You're going to reach for both hands on one fabric. OK. All right, keep that left knee bent. Reach the right toes towards the floor. Come forward. Yes. And slide those hands down. Bend your right knee. Grab a hold of your right hand with your right foot. Ta-da! Ta-da! Hitch and drop. Whoa! This is awesome! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! Look at these! <laughs> Whoa, they kind of look like a hammock, but there's not a place to sit. What are these called? This is called an aerial silk. It's like a hammock upside down. Whoa, an upside down hammock? <laughs> That's fun. Well, how do we play with these? You want to try to climb it? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. You're going to grab a hold of it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and I want you to kind of hug the fabric with your legs so your right leg comes up. Okay. Turn around, give it a giant hug, and flex the foot. Okay. You're going to slide the fabric underneath the toes. Oh, okay. And then you're going to reach your other foot onto the fabric and kind of hook it like you're crisscrossing. Great. So I Criss pull on the one fabric. Toe to the other. Yep. Like that. Awesome. It gets easier if you use both hammocks or oh. both silks. Do you want to try it together? Yeah. Okay. We'll try both silks. See if I can climb to the top. Okay. Okay. So bring them together. Give it like a giant little bear hug. Your uh, leg. <laughs> okay. Now we take our leg around. That's right like this, Yep. flex our foot. Bring it as high as you can. Even higher, Woo. even higher. Woo. Good job. And then up we go. <laughs> Woo. You can go higher. Okay. Whoa, look how high I am. All the way to the top, Lippy, good job. Whoa, I made it to the top. Whoa, look at how high we are. Everything looks amazing from up here. Okay, I think it's time to come down. Nice and slowly, you're gonna squeeze your legs together and walk your hands down. Work with your legs, not with your hands. 
Whoa, here I go. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> we made it. Good job. Yeah. Nice landing. Whoa, that was amazing. Whoa, you've taught us so many amazing dance moves and how to climb a silk. <laughs> Thank you so much for teaching us today, Kimberly. You're welcome. Uh, well, I'll see you soon. I think I have all these tools. Now I can do my very own aerial blippy dance. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's time for some blippy dancing. <laughs> yeah. Kimberly was so helpful and taught us all kinds of dance moves. And now we can take those dance moves and make blippy choreography. Oh, that's kind of a big word. Choreography. <laughs> Have you heard that word before? Well, it's just a big fancy word for lots of dance moves put together. <laughs> we can do that. Time to dance. such a great day with you today, learning all about aerial arts. <laughs> and we even got to dance to our very own aerial blippy dance. Woohoo! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> great. OK, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -I. Blippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi, Blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at where I'm at. Today, I'm at Zoo in Cochia, Brazil. Wow, this place is awesome because they have so many cute animals that you actually get a pet. Maybe that's why they call it Pet Zoo. And today, you and I, we're gonna learn how to take care of animals. Are you ready? All right, let's go. <laughs> Did you see that? These two horses were scratching each other. Wait a second, they don't look like horses, do they? They do look like horses, but way smaller. Oh yeah, you're a pony, right? Yeah, these two ponies are actually sisters. Hey, you two are so cute, and they are so soft. Look at this one, this one is white, and this one is brown. Oh, do you two like me? Because I sure do like you. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Whoa, carrots. Interesting. <laughs> do you like carrots? I do too. And I heard that these ponies love carrots. Shall we see if they're hungry? Oh, here you go. Whoa, are you hungry? Oh, whoa, they are hungry. Whoa, I guess ponies love carrots. Can you think of any other animal that loves carrots? Yeah, maybe one that likes to hop? Yeah, bunnies love carrots. Here you go. Here's some more. Oh, they are so nice to each other. I wonder if they like to play with each other. They definitely know how to scratch each other's backs. <laughs> here you go. Aww. <laughs> All right, here you go. Whoa! And did you see this one? Yeah! Look right here. Okay, let me turn it side right here. And do you see its hair? Yeah, its mane? Whoa! It's braided! Whoa, it's so cute! Whoa! You don't have braided hair, but that's okay. Oh, you want food? Okay, here you go. 
<laughs> All right. Well, let me set this right here and maybe I'll see you later. But if not, have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Whoa, check it out. It's so pretty right here. Wait a second, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, photo shoot. <laughs> yeah, this place is awesome. Let's keep exploring. I think I see some more animals, come on. <laughs> Hello! Whoa! This is a llama! Hey, are you hungry? Because I think I see some food. Come on, come over here! Check it out! Yeah! A big white bucket of llama food! Whoa! Here you come. Here, you can come right over here. Whoa! Llamas are so cool! <laughs> yeah! They actually... Whoa! <laughs> okay, patience! <laughs> Okay, here you go. Do you see their food? Yeah, they love this stuff. It's so tasty. I'll hold out my hand nice and flat. Whoa, can you see its teeth? Here you go. Whoa, they're so crooked. <laughs> That's okay. Here you go. Is anyone else hungry? Oh, it looks like you have some friends. They don't look as hungry as you. Here you go. Wow, do you see this llama's ears? Very big ears. I bet it can hear very well. Oh, and did you know llamas can spit, but llamas actually do it in defense. Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. Yeah, if they ever get scared or anything like that, they can spit. Whoa, you are so cool. Whoa, and you're so soft. Oh, that was so much fun. All right, have a good day. Well, shall I keep exploring? Yeah, come on. Whoa, check it out. Now this is a giant bird. This is an ostrich. They're the biggest bird in the whole entire world. Whoa, hey. This, yeah, his name is Romeo. Wow, and he is so tall, even taller than me. And did you know ostriches' brains are so small, they're smaller than their eyes. Wow, they must not be very smart, right? Oh, but they can run so fast. And did you know ostriches can't fly? Oh, who would have known? <laughs> wow, we'll see if Romeo is hungry, shall we? Check it out. Whoa, looks like we have some greeny leaves right here. Oh, and then some pellets. Here you go. All right, Romeo, here you go. You want some pellets? Huh, maybe, here he comes. Okay, what about some green leaves? Here you go. Okay, here you go, Romeo. No? I guess Romeo's not hungry. <laughs> wow, they take care of their pets so well here. Yeah, a great way to take care of animals is to keep them nice and fed. And since Romeo's not hungry, someone must have fed him earlier. <laughs> Whoa, look, that ostrich was Big. Now these birds are medium sized. Whoa, two of these are actually younger ostriches. And then two of these are emus. Yeah, yeah, it's a different type of bird. And they're medium sized. Whoa, they look so soft. I wish I could pet them. Wow, is anyone hungry? No, no one's hungry again? Whoa, they're taken care of very well here. Whoa, all right, see you later. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was cool! Whoa! Chickens! Wow! Here you go! Hey, chickens! Hey, chickens! Here you go! Are you hungry? <laughs> yeah! These chickens look like they're very hungry! Whoa! What about you? Anyone else? Here you go! Whoa, I actually got special permission to go inside with these chickens. Okay, here, I'll be inside real soon, okay? <laughs> here you go, birds. Wow, they are so cute. 
Who's hungry? Anyone hungry? Wow, chickens are so cool. Yeah, look at this one. This one is the color brown. And it sure does love this green leaf. Oh, hey, look at you, little cutie pie. Oh, this one's so small. And it's the color white. Here you go. Whoa, I love taking care of animals. <laughs> yeah, you make sure that they have a lot of water, a lot of food. Oh, whoa, and check that out. It looks like the chicken's home. This is called a chicken coop. I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> whoa, yeah, this is the chicken coop. Wow, they love to hang out in here. Oh, and look at this one. Just relaxing? Yeah, I wonder if this one's sitting on some eggs. Hey, 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 it's me, Blippi. Ooh, let me set these down right over here. Whoa, and we heard, yeah, that one of these is really nice. Maybe it will let me pick it up. There you go. Hey, cutie pie. Wow, look at it. Whoa, this is a small chicken. You are so cute. Whoa, do you see it has some red on its face? Yeah, and it's black and white. Okay, I'll set you down, okay? I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Whoa, here you go. Okay, see you later. Oh, let me pick these up and let's keep exploring. Let's see what else we can find here. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun seeing that chicken coop. Yeah. Whoa, check it out. This doesn't look like a chicken coop. This actually looks like where humans live. Yeah, this is called a Powapiki. Yeah, this is a traditional Brazilian house. Whoa, I'm so curious to see what it's like. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, it's so cool in here. Yeah, Powapiki? Yeah, that means clay and wood. Yeah, do you see this? It's made with clay and sticks, tree branches. Whoa, even maybe stumps too. Then you combine it all and it makes the house nice and strong. It is very nice in here. Wow, Power Peaky House. Wow, what a cool name and what a cool house. Yeah, you can do so much in here without electricity. Power Peaky House Music Party. That was really fun. Oh, I should probably put these back where I found them. Oh, hey, check it out. Yeah, this is the stove. How do you make heat if you don't have electricity? Fire. Yeah, you can build a fire, which then you can, say, boil water and make some nice tea and have a tea party. Yum. <laughs> oh, and look at this. Wow, what a cool device. This you can use to make cheese. Whoa, cheese please. Whoa, it is so cool how people can make so much with no electricity. Whoa, well, shall I keep exploring the pet zoo? <laughs> Let's go. This has been so much fun today. And do you see what that says? It says farmhouse. Yeah, let's see what lives inside this house. Whoa, whoa, check it out. It looks like we have some animals. Hey, and actually they left me some food to feed them. Whoa, this is gonna be nice. Speaking of nice, wow, what a great farmhouse. Okay, let me put this on. Oh, there we go, all right. Hey, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, look like a goat. Oh, maybe I can bring them out here so then you can see. Here they come. Hey, goats. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Are you hungry? Oh, there you go. Yum. Whoa. I should probably go inside, right? Whoa. Okay. They gave me special permission to be able to come inside here. Okay. Hey, goats. Whoa. How are you? Whoa, they are so cool. Yeah, it looks like there's whoa, so many. Whoa. Hey, here's one right here. Hey, are you hungry? 
Whoa, how are you? Oh, you are so cute. Yeah, it's the color white. Ooh, it has a little black on its head and brown. Oh, and they said this one actually likes to get picked up. Yeah? <laughs> you are so cute. This is a baby goat and it is so soft. And look how big its ears are. I bet they can hear very well. Oh, okay. I'll set you down nice and gently. Here you go. All right, see you later. Whoa, that farmhouse was so cool. I love taking care of all these animals. <laughs> whoa, speaking of animals, whoa, look at this. Yeah, hey, looks like a big cow, right? Whoa, <laughs> this is actually a bull. I know it's a bull because of its antlers. Wait a second, it doesn't have antlers, it has horns. Do you see that? The difference between antlers and horns are antlers fall off of the animal. But bulls, they have horns. These stay on the bull its whole life. Oh, are you hungry? Oh, he's so big. Here you go, you want some food? Whoa, oh, I felt his tongue. Oh, you are so cool. And do you see his teeth? Here you go. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, can I pet you? Oh, wow, his nose feels so nice. Whoa, what about your head? Oh, do you like pets? Yeah, some animals to take care of them. Yeah, you wanna pet them and love them. Ooh, and you can even brush them. Yeah, some animals like pets, some animals don't like pets. But this bull loves pets, right? Whoa! Or are you just hungry? Another way to take care of animals. Yeah! Give the animal some food. Whoa! Whoa! It's so slobbery. Every time I put my hand, yeah, for food, yeah. He licks it with his tongue and pulls it in. And it gets my hand all slobbery. <laughs> all right, see you later. It was fun taking care of you today. You are so cute. Oh, do you like the pets? Oh, are you wagging your tail? Are you cute? Okay, see you later. <laughs> oh, look right here. Yeah, remember earlier how I said you have to take care of the pens? Yeah, looks like someone took care of these pens, made sure it's nice and clean. <laughs> Whoa, hey, another animal. Whoa. Ooh, this is a jumento. Here you go. Oh, are you hungry? Wow, doesn't it look like a donkey? Whoa, and the jumentos. Yeah, their cheese made from their milk is some of the most expensive cheese in the whole wide world. Okay, see you later. Yeah, I heard there's some real donkeys right over here. Wow, jumentos and donkeys? Yeah, they're related to each other. But these, yeah, they're donkeys. Hey! Whoa, are you too hungry? Hey, do you see how big its ears are? Oh, here you go. Oh, do you want a nice snack? What about pets? Do you like the pet? Did you see how I didn't love to get pet? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I don't have to pet you. Or maybe he's just pulling away because he's actually hungry. Yeah, sometimes they might actually really like pets. But right now, maybe this one just wants a bunch of food. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah, and this one's the color brown. And this one is also the color brown. Hey, ooh, you have some white on your face. Ooh, and I actually heard, yeah, this donkey's name is Juka. Yeah, you know my good friend Juka? Whoa, you two have the same name. Ooh, Shuka, you love pets, don't you? You do, you do, do you? <laughs> and you also love food. Here you go. Wow, and their pen looks nice and clean. Wow, you are taken care of very well. I love taking care of animals. <laughs> All right, see you later, Shuka. Bye-bye. <laughs> Check it out! Here at Pet Zoo, they even have a playground! Whoa! I do love playing! All right, first thing I should do is probably take off my shoes, right? Oh, will you count my shoes with me? 
Ready? <laughs> Here's one. All right. And two. One, two. I have two shoes. Okay, let me put it right in here in those cubbies. And now it's time to play. Whoa, look at this. Looks like you climb inside. Whoa, 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 it's pretty wobbly. Whoa, whoa, look at how high I am up here. A big blue slide. I love slides. Okay, here I come. Whoa, whoa, I got a little stuck. Not the fastest slide, but that's okay. It was still fun. Come on. Whoa, I should probably grab my shoes. But over here, there's another fun thing to do. Come on. Whoa, cool, a trampoline. Oh, and it's so colorful. Woohoo! yeah. I love trampolines. Hey, since we're learning about how to take care of animals today, why don't you guess which animal I'm thinking of? One that really likes to jump. Yeah, it can put its babies in its pouch right here. And you find a lot of them in Australia. Woohoo! yeah, look at me. I'm a kangaroo. Will you jump like a kangaroo with me? Woohoo! yeah, woo. Boing, boing. Boing! <laughs> okay, I have another animal for you to guess. Okay, a lot of them are green around the world, but here in Brazil, yeah, they're so colorful. And they're actually pretty poisonous. And the sound that these animals make is ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> yeah, a frog. And here in Brazil, they even have colorful Poison dart frogs! Woohoo! Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit! Whoa! Frogs are so cool! I've had so much fun today! Whoa! Whoa! I should probably put on my shoes. I think I'm all done playing. All right, here's one shoe. And then, here's two shoes. Wow! Did you have fun with me? Yeah! I had fun with you too! I really enjoy taking care of animals, and I also love to play. Yeah! Whoa, check it out. Some water. I'm still super tired from playing. All that jumping and climbing, yeah, like animals. Oh, it's very important ah, to hydrate. Whoa, today was so much fun taking care of all those animals. I sure do love animals, and it makes me so happy knowing that you love animals, and you take care of all the animals. And if you have pets, you make sure that they're nice and healthy and happy. Oh! Mm. Well, this was so much fun, and if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Will you spell my name with me? Ready? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi! Good job. All right, see you again. This has been so much fun in Brazil. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Oh, it's such a great time of year. It's really cool. We get to learn about sports and all the fundamentals of sports. And maybe if we do a lot of good teamwork, practice, and we get good at the sports, we can become champions. Yeah. And do you know what champions get? Yeah, they get medals. Whoa, I am so excited. But hey, sports isn't just about winning. It's about a lot of other fun things. Like I said, teamwork is one of those things. And I love teamwork. It's so cool working with someone else to then accomplish a mission together, like scoring a point. Yeah, have you ever scored a point in a game before? Oh, jeez, it feels so good. Well, hey, this tent is where all the athletes get to stay while they're at the Flippy Summer Games. <laughs> I think we should head inside and see what's in there. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> what a cool tent! Check it out! Wow! This is where I'm gonna be staying while we're competing at the Blippi Summer Games! Woo! Look how comfy this is! Wow! Looks like I have a nice blanket <laughs> on my big bed! Wow! <laughs> so cozy! <laughs> oh! I even have a nightlight! So then, right before I go to bed, I can read my books. I love reading. Do you love reading? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a silly looking light. <laughs> Look at it. <gasps> Wait a second. Oh, <sighs> this isn't part of the light. This is a soccer ball. Whoa. Yeah, a blue and orange soccer ball. Wow, my two favorite colors. Hey, this is the first sport that you and I are gonna learn about. I love soccer. Yeah, let's go. It's the Blippi Summer Games. Blippi will learn and train for three different sports with three different coaches. At the end of each practice, if he completes his challenge, he'll win a medal for that sport. is a soccer field. Woohoo! When I say soccer, yeah, I'm in America. We call this sport soccer, but the rest of the world calls it football. Yeah! <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa, look at this. Most of the time, soccer fields, yeah, the ground is green. But today, we are on a black astroturf field. And I am so excited. I love soccer. Hey, check it out. Do you see this? Yeah, this yellow paint. This paint symbolizes the outside of the soccer field. Yeah, so all the yellow lines on this field are soccer lines. Hey, but there's a lot of other colors. See like these white lines? Yeah, and this red color? Yeah, you can play a lot of different sports on this field. Wow. What a cool field. Whoa, look over here. Wow. This is awesome. These are the bleachers. That's where all the fans sit. Hello, hey! Yeah, all the stadium fans, they get a root for their very own team. Whoa. The very center of the soccer field has a letter on it. Let's go see. Wow, now this is a big letter. Whoa, do you see what letter that is? Yeah, you're right. It's the 
letter T. T for Tenino Washington. Yeah! Whoa, there's some more soccer equipment down here. Let's go! Our soccer balls. Wow, check it out. What a cool ball. <laughs> this ball is the color white and black. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, in soccer, you don't use your hands. Hey, let's count these soccer balls. Looks like we have one, two, three, four, Five soccer balls! Whoa! Do you see that behind me? That is the goal. Let's go check it out. Wow! Do you see this? Yeah, all this netting. If someone kicks the soccer ball into this netting right in here. Whoa! 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 Oh! oh I'm stuck! Then that means you got a goal! <laughs> and who stands right here is called the goalie. Yeah, they make sure that nothing goes past them. Whoa, I'm ready! Yeah, do you see how I use my feet to kick the balls out of the way? Whoa, the goalie's job is to make sure that no balls go past. Yeah! Yeah, this is fun being a goalie. Whoa, oh, do you see how I caught that ball? Goalies are the only players in soccer to be able to use their hands. Woohoo! Whoa, I am such a good goalie. <laughs> Woohoo! Whoa, who's that? That's my coach. Yeah! Coach Kevin? Hey, Blippi. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Oh, good. Hey, I heard you are the best soccer coach in all of Tenino, Washington. Is that true? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, will you teach us some soccer lessons today? Yep, let's do some soccer. Okay, well, what do we start with? We're going to start with some passing. Okay, that sounds fun. How do you do it? All right, so you want to have the inside of your foot when you pass. You're gonna point your toe up a little bit to keep the ball on the ground. Okay. Yep, here All we right. go. Whoa! That was such a good pass. <laughs> Let me try. Okay, I set the ball down. I use the inside of my foot and I pass it. Whoa, I did it! Whoa! You stopped it! How did you do that? Yeah, we call that trapping in soccer. So same kind of idea. We want our toe up in the inside of our foot, and we just kind of catch it with our foot. Okay, so trapping is basically like stopping the soccer ball. All right, let me try. Whoa! Did you see that? I stopped the soccer ball with my foot. Okay, let me pass it back to you. Wow, this is so much fun. Well, what's next? Well, now we need to pass and move. Pass and move at the same time. Okay, all right, let's try it. Whoa, who are you? Hi, I'm Sage. Oh, nice to meet you, Sage. I'm Flippy. Well, hey, I just learned how to pass and trap the ball. Will you teach me how to shoot the ball? Yeah, sure. All you really need to do is use your shoelaces to kick the ball into the goal. Okay, that sounds pretty easy. Will you show me? Yeah, sure. Whoa! That was awesome! Good shoot! <laughs> yeah, she just made a goal. Well, hey, do you mind if I try? Yeah, sure. Good luck, Flippy. Yeah, thank you so much. Sounds like a great challenge. It's the seven goal challenge. Blippi needs to get seven goals to earn the soccer medal. Will you count the goals he makes? Here I go. Woohoo! I did it! Yeah! I 
another goal! <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome! Oh, That's okay, I'll just try again! <laughs> yeah, I love soccer! <laughs> yeah! That was a swish! <laughs> Whoa! Goal! Blippi did it! Let's see an instant replay! Look at that four! Nothing but net! Soccer takes a lot of hard work, but with some training and practice, you can become a champion. Way to go, Blippi! Yeah! <laughs> wow! That was awesome! I just scored seven goals! Wow! That is so many goals! Wow, soccer is such a fun sport! Well, I should probably get going back to the Summer Games tent to see what else there is! Thank you so much! See you later! Bye-bye! Whoa! Wasn't that fun learning how to play soccer together? Yeah, it was so cool kicking the soccer ball with our feet! Yeah! Woohoo! And using your hands only if you're the goalie! <laughs> oh, jeez, I am so tired. I should probably take a breather. <sighs> oh, look! A duffel bag! I wonder what they put inside this duffel bag. A duffel bag is used to store things in it, and in this case, sports equipment. Yeah! I wonder what's in here. Whoa! Yeah! Basketballs! A white basketball. And a rainbow color basketball. Whoa! Two basketballs. Have you ever played basketball before? Yeah, it's so much fun shooting it and scoring a point. Let's go to the court and learn some basketball. <laughs> oh, I probably need this. <laughs> wow! Come check it out. Whoa! This is a Basketball court! Whoa! It's so cool! Woohoo! Yeah! I love this place! This place is where you can play some basketball. And look at what the floor is made out of! Wow, do you see this? Whoa! This is a really special wood! And it's so shiny! Yeah, so then when you play some basketball, you don't slip and slide! Whoa! Hey, check this out. This is the center of the court. They call it center court. <laughs> wow, how clever. Yeah, this is where the game starts. Whoa. Whoa. And over here, there's a basketball hoop. Whoa. Yeah, see that up there? That looks like a circle. And you see what shape the basketball is? This is also a circle. Yeah! The point of basketball is to put this circle inside that circle. That sounds like a fun game. But hey, how the points work, yeah, is anything in front and closer to that basketball hoop from this line right here. And it goes all the way around over here, yeah, all the way to the other side. Anything closer to the basketball hoop is two points. Anything on the further side of it is three points. And that is why they call that the three point line. Whoa! All right, let me show you how to do it. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Oh, I missed again! This is really fun, though. <laughs> I'm not very good. Whoa! 
Whoa, <laughs> that's crazy. Well, since I'm not very good, maybe I should take some basketball lessons. Hey, look, that's Coach Joe over there. Let's take some lessons. Coach Joe, how are you? Good, Blippi, how are you? Oh, pretty good. Hey, will you teach us some basketball skills today? Of course. <laughs> yeah, what are we gonna learn? I think today we probably should start with dribbling. Oh, that sounds like fun. How do you do it? Well, dribbling's really bouncing the ball, but being in control of it. Okay. So we wanna make sure when you're dribbling, you're using your fingertips and the pads of your fingers. Oh, okay, so we use our fingertips and the pads of our fingers. That sounds like fun. Yep, and then you wanna make sure that you're not using the palm, only the fingertips. Perfect, awesome. And then you get a little bit of flexibility in your wrist and you bounce the ball. You want to try? Yeah, let's try it out. Here we go. Wow, that was awesome. Nice. <laughs> Here you go. Nice. After dribbling, we probably should go into passing. Okay. Basketball is a teamwork sport, so we got to make sure we have good passes. Yeah. All right. So how do you do it? So there's two types of passes. The first one is a chest pass, and I'm going to aim to hit you right in the middle of the chest. All right. Ready? Yep. Whoa, did you see that? All right, my turn. Nice pass. Thank you. <laughs> the next one we want to work on is a bounce pass. Okay. Same thing. I want to bounce it, so it bounces right, right up to your chest. Okay. Wow, nice work. All right, here we go. Nice pass. Yeah, nice thank pass. you. All right, what's next? Then the next thing that's really important is making sure we know how to shoot. Oh, that's the fun part. Scoring points, yeah. Scoring points. To start, we want to probably get as close as we can to the hoop. Okay. And when we shoot it, we want to make sure we have a guide hand. Uh-huh. And then your shooting hand. And the guide hand helps you control the ball while you're shooting. All right. Just like that. All right. When you shoot it off the glass or the backboard, you want to do it nice and gently so it falls right in the hoop. Perfect. You try it. All right, here we go. I'm going to use my guide hand and my shooting hand to score a point. Yeah. Nice shot, Blippi. Nice shot. Thank you. All okay. right. So now what do you do? So when you shoot a layup, it's worth two points. OK. Part of us having good teamwork is I can pass you the ball and you can shoot a layup. You want to try it? Yeah. So since I know how to receive a pass and shoot, maybe he and I can use some teamwork to score a point. Let's do it. OK. All right. I'm going to give you a bounce pass. And you take your layup off the glass. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Go. Woohoo! Yeah, nice we shot. did it. Nice shot. Do you want to try? I'll try it too, sure. Ready? Here we go. Yeah, we did it. Wow. We just learned how to dribble, pass, shoot, and do a layup. Now it's time for a challenge. <laughs> it's time for the six point challenge. Will Blippi score six points for the basketball medal? Count along. <laughs> All right, here's the challenge. Let's do this. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Yeah, good shot. Thanks, That Blippi. was awesome. All right, my turn. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Woo nice shot, Blippi. Did you see that? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, here's for a mid shot. Here you go. Whoa. That was a perfect swish. All right. You Pass. ready? Yep, I'm ready. Your turn, here it comes. Yeah! Yay, nice <laughs> shot, Blippi! <laughs> Woohoo! All right, now for a three pointer. Here he goes. <laughs> Whoa! That was amazing! Your Whoa. turn, Blippi. All right, three pointer, here it comes. Shot. Thank you so much. That was six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, that was so many. High five. 
He did it! Basketball takes a lot of teamwork. With some training and a whole lot of practice, you can become a champion. Way to go, Blippi! Wow! That was so much fun, learning how to play basketball together. Whoa, do you like basketball? Yeah, I do too. Whoa! It was so much fun learning how to dribble, how to pass, and how to shoot. And all of that we learned with a lot of teamwork. Yeah, thank you so much, Coach Joe. Thanks for coming, Blippi. Yeah! Wow, do you like basketball? I do too! It's great. But before I go, I probably don't need this basketball anymore. See you later, basketball! Hey! Yeah! That was awesome! All right, let's head back to the summer games tent. Let's go! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Wasn't that so much fun playing basketball together? Yeah! It was awesome dribbling the ball together, passing it to a teammate, yeah! And swishing some threes! Yeah! My favorite part about basketball is working with a teammate. Yeah, teamwork! It's so much fun! <laughs> Whew, I am sure thirsty. I should probably get some water. It's really important to stay hydrated while you're playing sports. <sighs> and being active. <laughs> Whoa! Look at what it is! Yeah, a tennis racket! Wow! Tennis is also played on a court. And look, some tennis balls. So colorful. <laughs> hey, maybe we should go to a tennis court and play and learn some tennis. Yeah! <laughs> squeaky tennis gate. <laughs> well, hey, check it out. Right now, we are at the tennis court, and this is awesome! Whoa! I love tennis! And check it out! This tennis court, yeah, it's just like basketball. Basketball and tennis are both played on a court. Whoa! Look, my feet grip to the ground super good because this tennis court is made with special material so then you don't slip and slide. Whoa, look at this. Do you see what shape this is? Whoa, this is a rectangle. This is part of my side of the tennis court. Ooh, and here's another rectangle over here. Whoa, and do you see these white lines right here? This is what separates the boxes of the tennis court. Whoa. Do you see what color the main part of the tennis court is? Yeah, it's the color green. Ooh, and outside of the tennis court, yeah, it's the color red. Do you see what I'm holding? Do you know what this is? Yeah, this is a tennis racket. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this is what you use to hit the ball over the net. Oh, speaking of the net, come on. Wow, check it out. Whoa, this is the net. And this, like I said, you hit the tennis ball over the net. And then your opponent hits it back. And then you hit it back. They hit it back. You hit it back. And that is called a rally. Oh, I am so excited to play some tennis. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! But I think we need a ball. <laughs> Whoa! Speaking of tennis balls, wow! Look at this. This is called a hopper. Whoa! It is so heavy! <gasps> Look at how many tennis balls are in here. Wow, so many. But hey, we have three colors of tennis balls. What colors are these? Yeah! 
we have yellow, blue, and orange. Woohoo! Yeah! I love tennis! Woohoo! All right, let me take the yellow ball and I should probably play some tennis. Wait a second. Even though I'm one of the best tennis players in the whole wide world, that doesn't mean I don't need lessons. Oh, hey, look, it's my coach. We should go say hi. Hey, Coach Whitney. Hi, Blippi. How are you? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm good. Well, hey, I was thinking you and I could play a game. But first, I think we should have some tennis lessons. Will you teach us some? Absolutely. Okay. All right, let's start with a forehand. Okay. So there's two types of hits in tennis. The first is a forehand. Okay. And you want to hold the, ball, the racket with your hand that you write or draw with. Oh, that's this hand. So I like to make a V first. Okay. And I start up here at the top of my racket. All right, a V. And I'll start at the top of the racket. And work your way all the way down to the bottom. And okay. then grip it like a handshake. All right. And that's your forehand grip. Perfect. From there, when the ball comes to, you swing back and forward. Oh, okay. Like <laughs> this? Pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> All right. And then a backhand. You want two hands on the racket this time. Okay. <laughs> and you're going to go to this side of your body, the other side. Step forward and swing, just like a forehand. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so this was a backhand, and this was a forehand. So what do I do with my feet? Well, you always want to be ready for a forehand or a backhand. Okay. So you want your feet nice and wide like your shoulders. All right. And from here, we hold the racket in the middle of our body. Okay. So we can go either way. Oh, how do I look? Perfect. All right. Well, uh, how do we start the rally? Well, we have to start with a serve. Okay. And you can do two types of serves. You can start with an underhand serve where you hit down here, kind of like a forehand. Okay, this is an underhand serve. Okay, and what is the other type of serve? An overhand serve. In an overhand serve, you have to point your elbow to the sky, up here behind your back. Okay. And you toss the ball high up in the sky and swing to hit. Oh, <laughs> that sounds pretty fun. Will you show us? Absolutely. Whoa, that was awesome! Can I try? Sure. All right, here we go. Yeah, that was awesome! <laughs> well, hey, maybe you and I should do a challenge. Yeah, we should play a game. Are you up for it? I'm absolutely up for it. All right, let's go! <laughs> it's the Five Rally Challenge! Can Blippi hit five shots back to his coach for the tennis medal? Let's count! a great big rally. Good job. What a great rally Blippi had with his coach. Check out that forehand. Blippi earns his third medal. Tennis takes a lot of hard work, but with some training and a whole lot of practice, you can become a champion. Oh, do you hear that? Yeah, sounds like the closing ceremony is going off. I think we should go. Well, hey, I gotta go. Nice playing with you. See you later, Blippi. See you later. <laughs> Teamwork is dream work. We play together. Run past and score. Make friends forever. Score in the 
that's what we got in store. I'm too bad, it's time to swing. It's a home run, we all win. Are you a team player? Let me hear you cheer. Are you a team player? Let your friends take the of the Blippi Summer Games. Wow! Check it out! It's the podium! Whoa! Looks like an old stump. This is perfect! Oh, and what are these? Wow! Yeah! Three medals! One, two, three! Hey, wait a second! We learned three different sports today. Soccer, basketball, and tennis. These must be for me and you. Good job. But hey, check it out. What color are these? Yeah, blue and orange. My two favorite colors. And look, it says my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Okay, now, it's time to get on the podium and receive our medals. <laughs> this very first medal is for soccer. Yeah, we learned how to kick the ball, pass the ball with our teammate, and to be a goalie. Wow, we accomplished that mission of scoring all those points. That was so much fun. All right, here we go. Good job learning soccer with me. <laughs> oh, look, the second medal. Yeah, this one is for basketball. Whoa, that was so much fun as well. What a great sport. Yeah, remember how we learned to dribble? Yeah, and work with a teammate and pass the ball? And you can't forget about swishing those threes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow, basketball is such a fun sport. But hey, since we accomplished that mission of scoring all those points, it's time for our medal. Here we go. Whoa, we have two medals. Yeah, good job. <laughs> wow, I love them. <laughs> Ooh, check this out. Yeah, the third medal. Yeah, remember what sport was the third one? Yeah, tennis. Wow, what a fun sport that was. 
tennis was great because we took that racket in our hand, we were able to swing with our forehand, our backhand, and we did such a long, great big rally together. Wow, <laughs> what a fun sport. Okay, well, for the third and final medal, here we go. For competing in the Blippi Summer Games and learning about soccer, basketball, and tennis, the orange and blue champion medals go to Blippi! Wow, check him out! Three medals for three sports. You and I did such a great job with our teamwork, our hard work. Yeah, all that paid off. And now we are great at those sports. All right, well, thank you everyone for coming to the Blippi Summer Games.